Hey guys, welcome back to me watch a movie. I am Mike. I am Jay. And I said that so fast. I I've been messing up my words a lot lately. Yeah, it's called stroking out. That's what I was worried about. Thank you for confirming all my worst fears when You're I welcome. Google it. Jay Google it happens. We're at that age. Jay Dog. Google it. The hits from the 80s and today. Man, it's getting to be like a feller just can't put in a good 10, 12 hours of work and just get into his truck and drink like one or two beers. What's yeah. the world coming to? I was literally watching. I just got done watching. It was on YouTube. It was like uh, in 1980, they were interviewing drivers about, I guess they had made some DUI uh, laws and changes or something like that. It was these country folk. And the guy, that's the guy literally said that. He's like, man, it's like a feller just can't put a hard day in, you know, uh, 12, 14 hour days and just get in his truck and get one or two beers. You know, I see, and, then, I see. and then some lady was like, well, I mean, they're taking away the right to drink it all. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw one of those videos. It was like it wasn't that it was like a, a more urban setting or whatever. But the guys were like, yeah, man, I don't know. It's just like some people just ruin it for everybody, you know? <laughs> like, Yeah, I, it was. Well, it's, I was reading the comments and somebody was like, I remember that there was guy was like, I remember my dad was going to a Pittsburgh Pirates game. And he was speeding and the cop pulled him over and his dad was drinking a 16 ounce uh, Bud Ice or some or something like that. And he said the cop didn't even ask him about the beer he was drinking. He was like, why are you speeding? And he's like, oh, we're late to the Pittsburgh Pirates game. He's let him off with a warning. And that was it. He didn't even ask him about the beer. And then he said that, but he, the guy was like, yeah, my dad used to measure distance in beers. They'd say, how far is someplace down the road? He goes, about three beers. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. Three's probably under the limit, depending on what kind of beer you're drinking, how big your glass is. is it, did, did, it, did the DUI, the Dewey, did that not used to actually even be a thing? There was, was it, like, it wasn't, they, I think they all, I don't know when the actual DUI law came out where it had to be 0.08. I, it's not that long ago though. I think it was in the seventies, but yeah. It, then the reason why all the States pretty much agreed to it because the federal government was like, well, if you don't agree to it, then we'll just stop funding. So uh, like, yeah. like, like, you know, Texas woo, could have been like, it don't matter, man. You can get as drunk as you want. You can drive your Cadillac 80 miles an hour. Don't matter to me. But if they had done that, they'd have lost federal funding. So uh, pretty much everybody had to do it. But there are certain states that still you can uh, have an open alcohol container. There's actually more than I thought. Yeah, well, you know, in Wisconsin, when we were there, they'll let uh, underage people drink in the bar as long as their parent or guardian is with them and says it's okay. It's wild. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, this six year old could have a, a a boiler maker. It'll be fine. Yeah, and I think there's try. some. Limit to it. I've seen the Indiana Jones Temple of Doom movie. Yeah, a little boy drove people around short round. There's, there's no way. I, I guarantee you in Wisconsin, like 72% of the drivers on the roads are drunk <laughs> or have been drinking. I don't care what they say about the DUI laws. I've literally watched so many police videos of DUIs, pullovers and stuff. In Wisconsin, it's like, yeah, we're arresting Shirley again. Is this her seventh DUI? Like, oh, that's it? Man, I'm working on my 10th. Man, Patrick Mahomes' dad's facing like two to eight years in prison because he got his third one. It's like you got so much money, dude. You need to be Uber. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just that's just you just you just deserve it at that point. Yeah, you know? I saw somebody's like it was true. They're like, oh yeah, man, back in the day, you could drink as much as you wanted. Your horse would get you home safely. But then we all switched over <laughs> to cars, and everyone talked about personal liability. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you can't ride a horse drunk these you days. Can't, you, you can't. can't I don't, you can't. You can't ride a horse. You can't ride a scooter. You can't ride a duck. You can't ride anything. Anything. Well, I think anything. You no. Know, they can get you. I think they can get you for DUI for a bicycle if you're drunk yeah. on a bicycle. I think they can. Yeah, yeah. I guess the problem is that you could the 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 horse might not be in traffic, but if you're drunk enough, you could run the horse into traffic. Oh well, yeah. I saw a horse get hit by a car once. Don't recommend it. That was gross. Very yeah. gross. It was our horse. I wasn't riding it, and I wasn't drunk. I was like seven. But yeah. I, anyways, that's a dark story. How I the hell are it you was guys motorized doing? vehicles? Uh, you might be right. I don't know. I'm sure there's some weird law. Like if you, yeah, but no, no, it is no. A horse is literally you can't be riding a horse while drunk. That's that's a, on the books. Yeah. But I'm saying, I you know, it, what I only makes sense like motorized vehicles like that you have to have on the road would be considered a DUI. Like otherwise, you get public intoxication. Uh okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So I mean, speaking of which, you know, it is today. Today is a oh, uh, uh, a national holiday. It should be a national holiday. That's what but, I was thinking. I was watching something today on TV and they're talking about, well, next year they're talking about adding another game to the NFL season, which would push the Super Bowl back a week. And if you push the Super Bowl back a week, the following Monday is President's Day. So you could mix in Super Bowl Monday with President's Day and then yeah. it'd be a national holiday. Super easy. I feel like if a president ran on that ticket, that's enough to vote for him, considering our current current uh, choices, you know. 
Like, I wouldn't even I, I wouldn't even worry about I wouldn't even have President say just make a Super Bowl day and forget about it. That's all anybody would actually care about. President but I don't yeah, why would they not do that? Like, do you know how many people I know some of you used to turds have called in today? Like, how many people called oh, yeah. in to work the day after Super Bowl? Like, there were millions and millions of people that had already planned on doing it. So why don't you just recognize it as a national holiday and get the kickbacks from the government? I don't know how that works like that or not, yeah. but I'm just saying just do it. Just yeah. do it. Shia LaBeouf said so. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf is who you should get all of your knowledge from, really, and all of your – that's what I do. I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth, and I watch that video, and it yep. gives me the energy to start the day. You know who didn't have any energy yesterday was Jay because he missed the fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, I've not been feeling good. I've been trying to quit smoking, so I've only been like – I've been sh- – like today I've been shaking more than like Danny Masterson waiting in the jail because <laughs> uh, apparently he got greenlit. If you guys know, you know. But, uh, yeah, I – yeah, I didn't feel good, so I missed it. But I woke up and I, I did see the score was tied. And I'm like, hey, it looks like a great game. Then it was over. <laughs> well, it wasn't. Yeah, it's weird. Like, it wasn't super entertaining. Like, some could even call it boring, but it was a close game. Maybe went to overtime. So, you know, I saw uh, the picture that was heard around the world where it was like Kelsey screaming at uh, Andy Reid's face. Oh, man. <laughs> I yeah. Was like, I was like, Andy Reid would just stare there like, God, your breath stink. <laughs> dude, God, Kelsey is such a douche hole. Like, dude, just ran over to him, knocked him, like almost knocked that old what man What was he mad over. at? Because he uh, he uh, wanted to be on the field when the player fumbled. Like, he would have stopped him from fumbling and, like, picked it up and saved the day. And I guess he was oh. pissed because they weren't winning. He said he was mad about the score. So he goes over and, like, almost bowls over an old man and is screaming in his face. Dude, I wish to God the Chiefs would have lost that game because then he would have showed who he really is. Like, dude's a front-running bitch, and he would have shown that. Well, there goes our monetization. I already said it earlier. But we made it past five minutes, and we're also watching trailers tonight, so it's not going to be monetized Oh, yeah, that's anyway. true. Yeah, we got, we yeah. got fucking removed our monetization, our monetization on Patreon. Not monetization, but they took down the the, the Patreon. Yeah, I got blocked. Show but, 2022. but I put it back up. I put it on Patreon, it so sense. it's up now. Yeah, all we did, we literally reacted to a Blink-182 music video, and they said that was a copyright. That's so fucking dumb. It's on YouTube for everyone to enjoy and love. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, and it's 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 not Blink's fault. It's it's the Interscope or whoever the fuck their thing is. I just I just want to make that clear. All right, it's not those Blink-182's fault. Yeah, I saw, but anyway, I did see that picture, and I just thought it was funny. I don't know. I don't know why. It's like, God damn, dude. He's the head coach. Like, back at, like, you know, if he had a little bit more Bobby Knight juice in him, he'd have choked that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have done that to, Andy, he know, done that to Bobby Knight. You know what? Andy Reid Andy should have got a bigger fucking guy and said, choke him. Yeah. Like, I, I can't show, do it, but choke I him. Would sh- I would show the clip here, but that's one thing you cannot show footage of is the NFL football game. Mm-hmm. They will come down on you like Samuel L. Jackson. And the Lord, whatever the fucking quote is, I forgot the quote. You know, yeah, and well, so it, it looked like a, on you. Yeah, I was going for the 49ers too, so it, that's kind of sucked. I didn't want yeah, to. Go to Kansas. I mean, if you guys are Kansas City Chief fans, cool, but I just didn't like. I don't like the Mahomes family. It wasn't even Kelsey; it was the Mahomes family, not Patrick Mahomes. The others. Yeah, you watch Travis Kelsey talk for about thirty seconds. Trust me, you'll hate him worse than anybody. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee my, my, you that. My wife was going for him because he's isn't he like brothers with the guy from Philadelphia? Yeah. Yeah, the guy from Philadelphia is the cooler one, too. Trust me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tonight, by the way, guys, what we're doing is uh, here in a little while, we're going to watch the Deadpool 3 full trailer for the first time. We're going to watch the Twisters trailer for the first time. Two of my top 10 most anticipated movies of the whole year. I can't wait. I'm so excited about both of them. I don't know which one I'm more excited for. It's Deadpool, but I, God damn it, I want to see a tornado. I want to see Ryan Reynolds' tight ass in a mm-hmm. leather skirt. I mean, I want to see that superhero movie so bad. It's going to be I- good. I would taste it. Um, I also, we're going to, uh, I'm pulling this up right here. So as we go out throughout the night and we talk about different topics from the Super Bowl, uh, we're going to rank, we're going to tier list, rank the trailers that that were shown, the trailers that we watched tonight, the halftime show, uh, the game itself. We're, we're going to tier rank whatever comes up from you, you and your beautiful butts that we like to tickle so much tonight. And uh, it's going to be a good time. So I hope you guys brought protection. And by that, I mean a gun. Um, Yep, it's, it's, it's a gun. new world, man. Don't don't tread on my rots. <laughs> that, that Joe Biden better not be in here. Don't you tread on God. my. Don't you dare tread on it. Come get I'll it. I tread on your face, with my tractor. You get in my way, bitch. Come come and get it. Come and take it. That's what he said. Come and take it. Said Asad Tumasi. I'm sorry, I definitely butchered your name because I'm an idiot. But he says, "Good evening, gents. I recently started getting into football, and this was the first Super Bowl I watched." Ooh. 
since I don't know the actual names of many football players, what are your guys' favorite players and teams? Thanks. Not, you're, you're asking the wrong bitch over here. <laughs> I'm mean, talking about. I like I like guys that played like 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that are ghosts that play on the Super Bowl field. Or that's it. I I don't have a favorite player right now. Jason to old men. I love Who old men. I mean, my favorite player of all time is Lawrence Taylor, though. Yeah, my favorite player was Brett Favre. I mean, I eat shat and drank Brett Favre. That sounded weird. I love that man. Um, cried when good things happened to him on the field. Like, I idolized that dude. And he turned out to be kind of a piece of shit human, allegedly. So that got taken from me. I like Aaron Rodgers, and he's kind of fucking weird, too. So I don't have a good track record. But uh, it, Packers, all the great players for the Packers. Uh, Michael Vick, he was awesome to watch. Shit, that one ended poorly, too. You know what? Don't take my opinion on who to root for when it comes to football players. Doesn't was, seem to have a great track record. Michael Vick was a great representat representative of, of PETA. What a wonderful human <laughs> being on all the things that he did. Oh, man. But yeah, hey, Syed, I, I hope you guys, I hope you had a fun time watching. It the actually wasn't a bad, uh, I think it's uh, Syed Asad Tiramaza. I'm going to say uh, it like that. I think you, it's actually not a bad Super Bowl for you to come in on. That's a, It looked like a close game. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, the Chiefs won, but uh, I did the same thing, man. First game, first football game I ever watched was the 1996 Packers Super Bowl, and uh, they won that game. And then the next year, they got back, and I thought, oh, this is just what life is going to be like as a football fan. They lost that Super Bowl, and they didn't get back for uh, 14 fucking years. And then they got back, and they won, but I was really pissed at them over the Brett Favre situation. And here I am. I feel like I've never seen and been able to fully enjoy as an adult a Packers Super Bowl victory. So it's like I'm a Lions fan, kind of. Uh, in a weird way, but you know, what a fucking right. sellout. Uh, I, no, that's not what I mean. I'm not, I don't no. mean I'm a lot. Mm. Shut up, Jay. Titans, Titans, oh, Titans. <laughs> damn it. That was what that was a weak moment. It was a yeah. weak moment. You bite your tongue, Mr. Big Bulls says, Loomis, <laughs> why do you watch the Super Bowl while I was busy watching Terrifier 2 and all the A24 movies? You missed out, buddy. I was lit. <clears throat> I can look at your picture and tell that you were lit. You also look like you went around picking your butt and smelling it afterwards. I don't want to hear what I missed, okay? I didn't even watch the Super Bowl. I was busy trying to come up with ideas on how to keep Michael locked up. Unlike you, Mr. Pick Your Butt and Smell It, Finger Face. We were watching movies about fake clowns that like to play in little girls' innards after they put salt on the shit. But whatever he does. Is it innards? <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm you misspelled well, 820. It's 821. <laughs> Idiot. Um, I um hang on, I'm pulling this up right now because I want to I want to get the vote going. Hey, we are we're still monetized, buddy. That shit's oh, real. Nice. Maybe they fixed it. Things are I looking up it. for us. I doubt world. it. It's gonna it's gonna be snatched away. A guarantee in this crazy world. Um, I'm gonna put a poll up right now. That'll be our first one, by the way, in honor of Syed. Um, whose name I'm totally getting Street wrong. Once again. Uh, how do you rank the game? Huh? How do you, how do you guys rank the game? Uh, oh, I didn't want you. How do you rank this Super Bowl? <laughs> you, like you said, how do game? you rank the gays? Well, I feel like they're friendly. <laughs> <laughs> some uh, of them are, uh, some of them could be aggressive, but I think mostly all of them are very nice. <laughs> they get a bad rap, you know, they get a bad rap. Um, uh, so this is against other games. So I won't put, I won't even put all timer in there because it doesn't give me enough options. I don't think anyone's going to look at this and call it an all timer unless you're a Chiefs fan. And if so, get out. I'm just I don't know. It was a good um, one. Almost so, touches the side. Based on the score alone, it looked like a really like it looked like a game because it wasn't. A high, I like those kind of games. I don't like those high scoring blowout games. Those are boring. I like high scoring and a close game though. This was yeah. low scoring well, and a close game. So well, it, was, it, well it looks like it was more of a defensive. Uh, Thing than anything else like yeah and it was weird like they moved the ball a lot but there kept being fumbles and shit like the ball kept hitting the fucking ground on like the the weirdest plays so it just and what i'll say about it i personally and I, I won't leave this to me i'm putting this up to you guys um i would personally rank this as a yeah. fuckable super bowl and it's not just because the chiefs won again but i think it's always to me, it's it gets kind of boring to see the same teams winning over and over again. Yeah. Uh, but some people enjoy that. They think it's you know, hey, dynasty. You're watching greatness. They love that shit. I just think that it doesn't. It still doesn't feel like the best team won. Like I feel like the 49ers were a better team. It just worked out that way. But then again, that's what the Patriots did during their dynasty. It always felt like they shouldn't win, and they just found a way to squeeze it out. And that's yeah. what they did here. Uh, we did get to see a Kelsey meltdown, which was awesome. I enjoyed the fuck out of that. That was a big plus for me because I, I cannot stand that person. Um, they kept the Taylor Swift stuff to a minimum. Although I don't really care. She doesn't bother me. I'm just sick of him. 
Um, but the the game itself, hey, it went to overtime, like you said. So what are you going to – I mean, what more can you really ask for? So I would call it fuckable at best. Personally. I think one of the best Super Bowls I ever saw was that – and I'm not even biased about it. I just think it was awesome is the 2007 Giants because they stopped the Patriots. They were going to be undefeated. That they, may they, be the greatest they, Super Bowl of all time. Yeah, but the fact that the Giants came in on the, as a wild card, they went to every away game and won against teams they shouldn't have beat, and then they went – and fought and and, be, and played New England, who was at that point unstoppable. And if a New England had won, it, they would have been undefeated and won. They've been the first team since uh, what the seventies, uh, the, the Dolphins, to win a Super Bowl undefeated. And yeah. like, and nobody wanted that. And it, it just was like a David and Goliath type of Super Bowl. That was an amazing game, and they had that the, the, that the helmet catch. Dude, that, that yeah, that awesome was a, yeah, that was a once in a lifetime catch with Eli Manning. Eli Manning was like the Forrest Gump of fucking quarterbacks. He just you just put him in there. Yeah. He didn't know what was going on. He just did. I gotta throw the ball. That was <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, that was that was amazing. And everybody wanted the Patriots to lose that game. Everybody except for Patriots fans wanted them to lose that game, and they did. It was one of those few times. Dude, it was funny because I remember watching that game with my brother and Cody. Was like a, he's like a diehard Patriots fan. He's pissed. He got pissed as fuck, dude. He's like fuck, and he was like screaming and shit. And then he like left. He like left the house and slammed the door. And then like he he like texted me like twenty minutes later. He's like, I'm sorry, I acted like that, man. I should just let you enjoy your time. Like I was on the fucking team. <laughs> it's like, dude, because like I'm not gonna get a ring or anything. But okay, no. it's cool. I didn't get mad about it. Um, yeah, it's the shit gets passionate, dude. I, I that was that was a while. I watched that game with you guys. I remember he slammed the door when he left, and I was like, Oh, yeah, then he apologized. Like, he literally thought like I was coaching the Giants team, like <laughs> we, were, we were playing a game and he got beat. I don't know how I would react, man. Uh, I haven't seen a, a Packers lose a Super Bowl since 1997, so but I, I, uh, <laughs> people get crazy. There's all those videos online of people breaking their TVs and shit. Of course, half mm. of those you don't know what's real, what's not. I saw one, they're not even video. really their TVs, they're Renaissance Center TVs, yeah, like they still owe money uh, on it. <laughs> and someone made a good point. They're like, these videos used to be a lot more shocking before you could go to uh, Walmart and buy this TV for 250 bucks, you know, which I mean, mm -hmm. it's still, it's a big deal. But, uh, I saw one at a, at a, at a 49ers party, party, party. Uh, where they're all outside in tents, and the dude runs up, grabs it, and breaks it. But then everybody else at the party started getting involved on it too because they were pissed. So everybody at the party going to start stomping on the fucking TV, and it was oh, like yeah. a fucking Royal Rumble. It was awesome. Yeah, probably fake, but still awesome. <clears throat> but that is uh, a good point, though. Back in the day when TVs cost like a thousand dollars, like flat screens, like everybody had plasma, that'd be a huge deal. Like, holy shit, man, you just like burned a thousand dollars because yeah. a, a game didn't go your way. But yeah, nowadays it's like, yeah, I'll just get a new one. Tomorrow. Yeah, nowadays you, they probably make more money going viral off the video than they did off the TV. Truck it inspired says Garth Brooks was responsible for the Chiefs win. That I I'm starting. That. To, I'm starting to think you're onto something, trucking. You might be onto something. Garth might be like you know Illuminati got some black magic, Wiccan powers, and, and he's just <laughs> doing Gaines. things. And he's just doing things out there with his pagan ass attitude. He's trying to pretend he's a country boy and he's all about the American flag, but real. Thank God, I'm a country He's boy. about the goddamn. He's about the about Satan. And uh, Mistopheles. You should have known when he switched to Chris Gaines, that man was a part of the Lord's quandary. I thought, by I that, to, I mean, I was trying to say Beelzebub, but I kept getting stuck in my brain. I kept saying Bartleby. <laughs> That's from a dogma, Bartleby. Uh, Abraxas, whatever you want to go. Uh, I, I actually thought of you, Chuck and Inspired, because I saw somebody on Twitter was like, Garth Brooks, it was fake, obviously. Like, Garth Brooks tried to show up to Toby Keith's memorial party and was not allowed access. And everybody in the comments was like, yeah, fuck that liberal. And I was like, what? I didn't know Garth Brooks wasn't welcome in the country community anymore. Like, what the I, fuck did that happen? Right, because he looks too much like Kevin Costner, the fucking hippie ass. <laughs> he's getting, he's getting He does look like, like dude, I swear to you, back in the day, Garth Brooks always reminded me of Kevin Costner. I like a fat that. version of Kevin Costner, but he reminded me of him. Yeah, Kevin Costner could play him in a biopic. That would be, yeah. that'd be pretty neat. I'd actually watch that. Leave the machine bowers. Holy fucking tits, man. Thanks, hey, dude. man. Thank you, dude. You're too kind to us. Come on over here and let me just rub on you a little bit. Just a little here. A little here. I'm wearing a undershirt, so let's can't play see tummy it. sticks. But that's my nipple. Uh, thank you, dude. Uh, he says, Hey, sexy fellas, happy Monday. Hey, Chalice, me and you should go investigate Dr. Loomis's bedroom and maybe some find some whips and chains in, the, in his underwear drawer. Maybe we'll discover clues about Loomis's madness. <laughs> oh, I would go in there. I would go in there and I would uh, I'd bring a black duffel bag and a black light. And what I would do with the black light is I would shine it on Dr. Loomis's room. But the sad thing is you won't find anything because he never brings a fucking lady home. Uh, I stayed with him for two weeks. All he did was yell about Michael in his sleep. Uh, I did catch him with his hand down his pants once saying something about uh, uh, Cookie Woman. But 
I went country there. <laughs> Fucking slipped right into a country. You thing come into my room, your face <laughs> is gonna look like the Toxic Avenger. I will deep fry that ass. <laughs> You don't even hey, have you to deep fry anything. I once stuck my 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 skinny wiener in a in a deep fryer just yeah, to feel I know something. You did. And then you Linda tried was to pissed. Suck it. You said you didn't stretch today, so you couldn't do it. Either well, way, Linda was on a Twinkie thing, and I thought maybe I could get her to touch it that way. And why am I doing country again? Jesus, I don't know. Christ, That's I what happens. Dude. I swear to God, if you start talking, well, maybe it's just because we're from Kentucky. You start talking about it, like the, like you get in that groove like that, man. It's hard to back up out of it. Yeah, I uh, uh I slept with a southerner last night. Uh, after a rodeo, his name was Tim, uh, but he was dressed, he was one of the clowns, and uh, I didn't realize it until uh, well, he was already inside of me. And uh, I'm a doctor, so these kind of things are important that you learn about the human anatomy, both sides of it. Chicks with dick, you know how it goes, Dr. Charles, uh, the next R. Kelly, shut your mouth, you're embarrassing me. That's not true, I don't ever. Listen disgusting to music. man disgusting uh, <laughs> thanks lee you're the fucking best dude uh Cody Ray, what's up dude twisters looks promising let's I'm do excited. it I, mean, I, I want to see it i let's... yeah i haven't watched any commercial or uh any trailers so it's gonna be exciting I, i'm fucking pumped about it. let's do it right now we're, we're letting you guys kind of dictate how the show goes where we go before we watch the, tw the twisters one though let's look and see who won the poll who won the poll uh come get your prize um in the case of where the fuck is my screen at this is a terrible shot. I don't know why you all watch it. I really don't. I don't um, in the case of how we rank this Super Bowl as a game. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and that's how Mike shits. Ooh. <laughs> um, all time or almost touched the sun. Pretty rad. Fuck bulls or sucks my butt, Steve. You all have decided that that game was indeed as I said, fuckable. 38% say fuckable. 25% says sucks my butt, Steve. Uh, I would agree with that too, us non-Chiefs fans. Pretty rad, 26%. Almost touched the sun, 11%. So 11 people here are either Swifties, Travis Kells people, or Chiefs fans, maybe. Or they just enjoy good fuck. No, I voted 11 times. Ah, uh, it was you, you bastard. I love Tay-Tay. I knew it. Um, all right, so I'm going to stick this where it belongs. I've just got to actually write it. i got to write it in. Just write it in! Write it all, break it off. I'm, hey, you watch that fucking mouth. I'm so fucking pal. gassy right now, dude. I don't know what it is. Stop I think it. it's just because I'm drinking this Dr. Pepper. If you're not smoking, that's why, because smoking is a natural laxative. So you probably stop. I can't up. wait you to want, shit my pants. That's going to be great. To, you want me to come over and spray the water uh, hose in between your butt cheeks again? See if yeah, that helps. Yeah, at this time, it won't be recreational. It'll just be like for like actual medical reasons. <laughs> Uh, all right, so the game goes in fuckable, and we've got our first tier. Pack. Oh my god, I cannot believe people like voted Triple H that low. People are gonna get pissed. <laughs> I thought, or the rapper, the, the game. game. We're gonna talk about the game. <laughs> you think this is the motherfucking game? He did. I never really was a huge Triple H fan, but I did like his intro music. That was pretty cool. Hot, horny. It's hot, all about the game. <laughs> what does yeah, Triple H stand for? Uh, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Ah, uh, uh, know you about I'll, your wrestling facts, you stooge. I'll come over there and I will fuck your mouth. You understand you me? To, you know what? You better have your ass in my face in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So here we go. Twisters official. Oh shit! It's Universal. I'm gonna go. No, this one says Warner Brothers. Ah, fuck know. it. Yeah, well, we're gonna watch the Ireland one. No, it's watch it. Let's see what happens. Let's see how quickly our channel's taken down. This is gonna be funny <laughs> as fuck. Like Universal does not like that shit <laughs> at all. Uh, all right, so we're gonna watch this together now. The trailer for Twisters for the first time. I'm so fucking excited. Jerry. Is this a sequel or a remake? It's a sequel. Okay. It is. Uh, why don't you get big for me, honey? All right. I'm trying. It's for, do something horny. Do something hot. There's Dorothy. Feeling in my juices. Guys, whatever's in there, it's big and it's moving fast. Drive. Yeah, don't no. worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that it's guy. A... Remember that guy in Euro Trip? He's like, excuse me. He's like, oh, <laughs> long tunnel. <laughs> like, Looking for some hot stuff, baby. <laughs> that's, what that's, what, that's what she said. Whatever's in there, it's big and it's moving fast. He's like, excuse All right. Me. Excuse me. <laughs> Dude, I'm just I'm already into it. Like that's it's got the vibes. Oh, sexy little. Show it to me. 
The lettering, the font. Yeah. It's Tyler Owens. Called Garth Brooks. Tornado Wrangler. If you feel it, Jason! If you ain't first, you're last. If you feel it, Jason! <laughs> So, do you think he's the good guy or the bad guy? Because he could—he looks like the bad guy. Yeah, he could totally be the Carrie Ells type yeah, character too, in this he's situation. Too, he's too good looking. Oh, uh, dude, they even got the big Ram, the big Ram that, truck in there. Yeah, I know, like a rock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. a rock. That could just be the commercial. They should just do that. You know what they should do? And also to bring back trust in Bud Light, they should all be drinking Bud Light and have like a rock. <laughs> yeah, gotta bring back. I <laughs> just, I just makes me think of the liability only. <laughs> Like that it does in the in the first one. I wonder if they're gonna show. We got cows. All right, that's one thing I, didn't I like, don't like. I didn't like that. I didn't like the way the camera was like that. That's like that uh, found footage shit. Yeah, dude, I did not enjoy that at all. the The first John DeBont's Twister had great cinematography and camera work throughout. Now this is probably just they're recording it for like their. I, I'm, they're probably gonna do a web stream or some or shit YouTube. like that. It's gonna be some. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but that. I don't. This this screams like you said found footage or just like cheap movie vibes. Yeah. I don't like that. That's our first tornado. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. That looks cool. It doesn't look as good as it did in the oh, first movie, though. It's because it's daytime, and it's like it's not. It's probably like a, it's probably about an F two. Oh, yeah, it's just an F two. No big deal. All right, here we go. I'm gonna believe. Oh, she's perfect. She's gorgeous. That's a big one. That's a big one. I just fucking said that. Don't speak unless spoken to. Huh? You could destroy a tornado. Dorothy. It's Dorothy four. I think it said four on it. Did you see all that CG going on with them bubbles, man? Yeah, back in my day, man, we just put all that shit up in the air for real. It was yeah, that it. I'm pretty sure that it didn't look CG like that when Dorothy got utilized the first time in the. Well, field. not yeah. Well, I don't. I don't guess so. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too picky here. You never had a chance. Was this a Pixar movie? God damn it! Okay, obviously he's a good guy. All right, that looked cool. Whoa, that's cool as fuck. That's a nice throwback. Oh, like that's that. nice. That's mm -hmm. fucking nice. Dude, did you see like the way it fucking changed colors in the rotation when it went up in the in the suck zone? Yeah, it looked nice. That was like fucking that. sweet. Looked like one of my turds and tell it. Oh yeah. We got plans. Plans. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That yeah. looks good too. Is that? Oh, it's a drone. So we're using new technology. Looks like an X Wing from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I'm torn on how I feel about the Tornadoes. They don't. Well, the thing uh, about in the original Twister is a uh, Laku Rock. Every time I see that guy, uh, he looks like he, could, he literally looks like, like a Like a Rock commercial or Gillette. Um, no. Uh, in the first Twister movie, it was all about that F5, that one, that the big giant monstrous one that finally shows up in an epic way. So maybe there will be something like that. Over, maybe those twins become a holy shit package. Dude, I love, I love it when they mention the F5 in the, at the dinner table and everybody's like, oh. we don't talk about the F5 around here. Only one of us has seen it. <laughs> he gets all quiet. Like, <laughs> God damn long. it, Joe, who gives a shit? Shut up. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's what I was gonna freeze it. So I guess they're at a rodeo. That's that's gonna pale in comparison to the uh to the drive-in of this mm -hmm. is like a rodeo or whatever. But dude, I feel like they're hitting the same beats as the first movie. This feels more like a reboot. Yeah, I need to watch it. He looks good in that white shirt. Yep. It's not bad. Okay, you know what the thing about it though. Okay, I'm gonna the main guy in the movie, the lead guy. He's not bad. He's handsome. He kind of reminds me of like a Dennis Quaid. But the problem is though, is I like Bill Paxton's more down to earth, salt salt of the earth kind of guy, and he wasn't like a cocky bitch. This guy seems to be like a good guy, but he's got more of the Carrie Yule's part in him. Like yeah. he's like he's more of like the highfalutin cocky guy. That he's probably he probably changes over the course of the movie and becomes more like Bill Paxton, but I just yeah. didn't like I don't like that mix of shit. Otherwise, the movie looks good, it looks solid. What if they they pull a uh, Dark Knight Rises on us and like he goes to fill out some paperwork and they're like, What's your name again? And he's like, Oh, actually, it's and it, it gives Bill Paxton's name. And it would they we find out it was actually a prequel the whole fucking time. What if you find out that that's his son? <laughs> no, that's true too. I'm actually glad they're not doing that. That'd be uh, I yeah, dude, I don't. 
I'm torn. I do like Glenn Powell, but he's doing the exact same thing he did in Top Gun, right? Like the cocky fucking. Oh yeah, I forgot he was the guy in Top Gun. Yeah, he's the same guy, exactly yeah. the same dude. And maybe that's maybe that character's written pretty well. But yeah, dude, the movie feels like the exact same movie, like in a way, like it feels like they're hitting the same exact story points as you go through. Well, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, to be fair, I mean, what else are they gonna do? I mean, it's a twist. Yeah. I mean, unless they make the twisters like come to life and they start talking and they get Pecos Bill to ride one. <laughs> it's like you guys ever seen Tall Tales? I like that movie. I Patrick, seen Swayze. Pa- Patrick Swayze was Pecos Bill. But anyway, yeah, I thought it, was, it might be. Uh, you know what it looks like? It looks like it's going to be a fun movie to go see. Like, I just looks like you're going to be able to turn your brain off and just have fun with it. Yeah, I'm super fucking pumped for it, man. Uh, Cross Joe, is that what you think it did? Um, I'm, I'm fucking pumped, man. I can't wait. I, I, I've been wanting a goddamn tornado movie for a while now, but the fact that it's also, it's got the, the lettering, the vibe, the fucking everything, you know they're going to put as much into it. It's not going to be like Into the Storm. Even though Into the Storm was not a bad fucking tornado movie. They just mm. went with the found footage angle a little bit too much for it. Um, yeah, that's a I, good idea, but it just doesn't. I don't know how that. Like, I get, I'm burned out on found footage movies. I really am. I just, it's, it was just like they swamped the market with it, and then I just yeah. got burned out. It's quite true. Um, so, in the case of that trailer, where do we rank the Twisters trailer? Twister. I put it at pretty rad myself. That's about where uh, I'm gonna stick it. Not pretty rad. I ain't gonna yeah. say. I ain't gonna say it's more than that. I ain't gonna say it's less than that. Like um, ooh, rock, but I'm, <laughs> you're fucking stuck on it now. You ain't gonna yeah, do because that whole that lose. commercial just like man. I, if I should see a man in a cowboy hat and a white t shirt driving around a fucking Ram truck, it's like ooh, rock. It's a good time, man. <laughs> America. Uh, I'm gonna put this to the poll as well. We have our votes, but we don't have that much shit to vote on tonight, so we got time to kind. Did they do twisters um, lowercase? Um, no, is that how they did it? Is the, no, did the title? No, oh, that would be, they should have done it like that. That'd be pretty. What if they had just like lowercase t, capital W, like you know, like twisters? Yeah. Like it would twisters. be like, oh, that's a, that'll grab the attention of the eye. I'm gonna get that poster, the twisters poster. I will get it because I never got the twister poster. Yeah, I kind of want that twister poster. That twister poster is bad. That shit looks scary with the big giant tornado behind them and they're running across the field in twister. That that shit looks scary to me. Yeah, it does. I, I and I love just the lettering of itself is nostalgic as fuck. So I'm excited for it. I excited. I would put it in pretty rad as well, but we'll let you guys decide in the meantime while we go back through some of this stuff. Dude, I, I really can't fucking shake the country accent. I'm gonna go crazy. Well, you just have my- to embrace it now. We're fucking already mom. here. Embrace it. Shit far. Um, Mr. Big Bows says after Super Bowl, I bought a Myers mask from Tibu. <laughs> yeah, Tibu. I bet you did. It probably turned out to be like it wasn't Jason. <laughs> was it Jason Midley or like what was it? It was probably it wasn't even it wasn't Captain Kirk. It was like Kirk Captain. It was like it was a knockoff Indian brand. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Scary Face. Yeah, it was Mr. Uh, Scary Face. That dude, that that I, Timu must be making absolute bank, you guys. They had by my count, there was four Timu commercials in that fucking movie or in that in that Super Bowl. Four Timu commercials last night. I didn't, night yeah, I didn't know. Does anybody know how much the Super Bowl ad cost this year? Yeah, somebody said it on our Patreon. It was like $20 million. Good God. I think it was yeah. like 20 for 30 seconds. I think it was like $20 million for 30 seconds. I'm Googling it real quick. Just Maybe it was 10. Too. I don't know. I thought somebody said it in the Patreon stream when we asked that oh, question. Uh, Six point five to $7 million per 30, per 30 second spot. So. Timu spent, oh my God. And those, the, 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 he gets us, Jesus people spent oh, at well. least, they did at least three. Like, how many fucking people do you think you could have fed or like helped out with like their homes and shit with the money they spent doing? Come to our I'd, be like, I, I'd be like, look here, sweet Christian babies. <laughs> Christianity been around over 2,000 years. I think people know who Jesus is. <laughs> Yeah, it's only the most popular reason. And the reason the why, world. I'm just saying, I, I mean, it's been around for a while. It's got staying power. You know, <laughs> staying like- power. Uh, it's probably on season, you know, 100 million. It ain't going nowhere. It's still popular as ever. Yeah, dude, that'd probably be like Taylor Swift doing ads for just. You know why I don't like those ads, though, is because it's not about, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm Christian even, but it, it reminds me of that Joel Austin shit. Yep. Like, yeah. that's why I don't like it. I think Joe Austin is one of the biggest faker motherfuckers on planet Earth. And I do feel bad about what happened. I do. I did hear about that that shooting, which is terrible. But I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about him as a person. I don't really – I don't like the way he represents Christianity. That evangelical ghost, tell it on the mountain. Devil gets you in the butt. If you if you even look at a video game, the devil's going to be on you, and it's going to be generational. And only yeah. the power of the Lord and a $100 donation can get it off of you. 
Yeah, it'd be like it'd honestly be like if Taylor Swift just ran a Super Bowl ad instead of like you know like helping people or doing anything with their money, she just ran a thirty second ad, uh, being like, "Hey, I'm Taylor Swift. I just want to make sure you knew who I was." Like we don't already know who she fucking is. I'm not yeah. comparing her to Jesus, although some probably would in this time and place. There are well, there's a lot of celebrities that do that though. They're like, "You should donate to this organization." It's like, "Bitch, you're worth a hundred billion dollars. You do it." Yeah, <laughs> Mike Barton said Valentine's Day is <laughs> you do it is on Wednesday and. I was wondering if Slender Man could be my Valentine and we could have a beautiful evening together. Heart, suck, uh, that's lube, and he's going to stick your dick in a glass of wine and slurp it off. Yeah, well, you know, we don't know about all that other extracurricular activity, but yeah, sure, we can go out on, on, on a little date if you want. We, we go we go to the movie or something like that, see a little show, then go to Olive Garden, it's very nice out there. Or you can eat pasta, something like that. We go back to your place, play a couple of video games, then we're going to go home, though. We got to be in the bed by 8 o'clock. <laughs> we can't stay out that loud. I don't think that's the kind of date he wants, Slender. Well, that's kind of, that's the kind of date that me only got in the trunk. Me sorry, me have no, let me let me check. Nope, that's the only kind of date me got. <laughs> <laughs> Sauce, I like your name. I love sauces, and uh, it looks like you have your hand on your cock. And uh, I love I love cock. So, uh, first super chat. Been here since Halloween Kills. Hey, hey. thank you, man. Nice Thanks to see you, sticking around, Spouse. dude. Welcome to the shit show, pal. Or I mean, you've been here, but you know what I mean. So I'll shut up now. I'll shut up now. Your dick has me all thrown off and sweaty. Lee the Machine Bowers again, you motherfucking fucking Thank you, fuck. Lee, dude. Thanks, man. I uh, can't wait for Deadpool 3. Deadpool 2 teaser trailer still cracks me up every time the, uh, the changing in the phone. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. yeah dude. I, well, it's been a long time coming. Every, like the speculation, everyone talking about what Deadpool 3 was going to be like, whether or not it was going to be rated R, all the delays. It's I'm excited to see it myself. And you know, and 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 it's kind of bittersweet because it's it'll probably be the last time we ever see Ryan Reynolds suit up as Deadpool. Because oh, don't the way, say that. The don't way things that. are going at Disney, I don't see him them ever green lighting another. If it's a, a very raunchy Deadpool movie, and you know, I don't know. And, and he's very, and he's very. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is very much. He wants to be creatively in control of the Deadpool series. And if Marvel, Disney, and you know how they are with their properties, they don't give a shit. They'll just milk it dry and be like, "Well, listen, Ryan, we don't really think this is the right direction. We need to send these kind of messages, or we need to do this." And Ryan's like, "I'll just fucking step out then. Fuck you." Yeah, I, th I mean, I think if they were to do that, well, they would they wouldn't allow this movie. Well, it was too know. big. It was too big for them to stop. Like it would have caught. It would have been a huge backlash. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I think that this movie is going to be – I think this is going to be the biggest box office film of the entire year, rated R and all. I think this Maybe. movie is going to fucking break records and shit. Maybe come after well, Avatar. Um, actually, know. well, Dune comes out March 1st. That's going to be a big one, the, the follow-up yeah. to Dune. Um, um, and then, obviously, Ghostbusters, but I don't think it's going to be uh, – it's not going to crack, like, billion dollars or anything like that. But, yeah, yeah I think Gladiator 2 is going to be a big one. Yeah, I mark mark write it down in your little fucking books though. I think I think the biggest box office hit of 2024 is absolutely going to be Deadpool three. We'll see what happens. We're going to watch that trailer. Bit. I wonder what the budget is. Uh, I wonder because the budget you. on on the first two. I, well, I think you got a little bit more of the second one. It was like fifty million. Uh, two hundred and fifty million dollars. Was it really? Uh, no, this one's two hundred fifty million dollars. Oh my god, uh, what a sellout Ryan Reynolds is! It's <laughs> fucking cricket money that he got, or whatever that phone company that he like. I don't think he's producing it. Touts around uh, oh, with shit, Rick maybe Moranis. Is what is that? What is that uh, phone company that he touts around? That he sold for a bajillion dollars. Boost, not Boost Mobile. Mint Mo, Mint Mobile. Mint, yeah, and he Mint got Mobile. Rick Moranis out of the out of the fucking shadows to help him. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, dude, he's the fucking master marketer. It's another reason I think that movie's going to do so well. Aaron Roman, I, dude, I'd seen that name in a minute, buddy. He said, hey, how are you guys doing, Jay? Have you seen the teaser of Deepool and Wolverine? And what do you guys think? We're getting ready to uh, watch it. Hey, hey, Ron. Do you ask Jay or us? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confused. I don't really know what to do with it. So, no, we're going to watch it together. Hey, hey, uh, Ron. Thank I probably you, said that after. I probably said that after your super chat. But we appreciate it nonetheless, buddy. Uh, Mercurio Addy. Hey, guys, I'm still recovering from last night. Uh, me too, a little bit. Just oh. a little bit. Uh, I swear I'm never drinking again. Anyway, I'll be passed out in the corner if you need me. <laughs> Don't worry. Somebody will throw something at you if they need you. I will. No, I, hey, you know what? Uh, I am. I actually didn't drink yesterday, but I should have. Because you were sleeping, you fuck. I know, but I would have slept early. I, like, I would have drank earlier and then just gone to sleep, but I didn't. <laughs> I still wish I, I drank. I, I, no, I really cool. do. I, I feel like I miss out on festivities. Uh, like it was yeah. like you know like you know like, like even if you don't want to be a watch the festivities you feel like you missed out on the festivities you know what I mean mm. like I was like oh the Super Bowl and stuff he's like fuck yeah I we uh, we had people we had some some family over and stuff and uh, I was like I was I was fucking I was pretty toasted before and then they were like overtime and I was like 
Shit, man. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have lock to... up the silverware. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to buckle up for this one because I ain't missing it. And then ended up, of course, you get a you get a second win, ended up staying up two hours after the fucking game, even though I had to get up and take the kids to school this morning at like six a.m. But it's you live one time. Hey, technically, I was still drunk, but America, am I right? <laughs> hey, I wasn't drunk as my don't. No, I was clean and sober this morning now. All right. Calm it down. Calm it down. Don't, don't want to get my CPS officer after me. Now. That's true. Yeah. They, well, um, it'd be funny if they were like, Yeah, we watched your video last night. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, really? Apple juice. It was apple really? juice. Really? That's weird. Fine. I didn't know. Uh, no, I actually woke up and felt pretty good this morning. Uh, Kyle, thanks, buddy. Says Deadpool Wolverine, Twisters. Oh my God, filled with boner alerts. Hey, Mike and Jay, been so long. Jay, any new games you plan? Mike, mm -hmm. Alkaline Trio rocked. You liked? I love it, dude. I think it's fucking great. It's super simple. Like, it's weird. There's. There, there's not a lot of really standout tracks that are like i don't i don't really i still don't know how to process the album dude but I, it's like some of their best songwriting they've ever done and i love it i can't stop listening to it but i, I can't even like pick my favorite songs yeah it's got it's got a lot of good good stuff on it uh no yeah, yeah. I, as far I, I beat final fantasy 16 and then uh i just got done playing the uh the demo for final fantasy rebirth that comes out the 29th of this month which i'm very excited and that's so I haven't, I'm not that, that I mean, I had never played 16 before, so I did beat that was a great game. And then, uh, Rebirth is going to be amazing as well. So that's uh, the only new game I've been playing. I, oh, by the way, I will, I, I, okay. I mentioned this during Patreon. Um, <laughs> it's not true at all. Apparently, Phil Spencer, the guy that the you know, the guy that heads up the Microsoft Studios, Xbox things, they're going to continue making consoles. IGN went with a rumored story just like the internet always does rely on the internet folks it's good goddamn journalism they blew a rumor out of proportion and acted like xbox was done for not making any more consoles phil spencer held an internal meeting talking to their employees because this also scared their employees and was like we are going to continue making consoles like this is not going to stop microsoft makes a lot of money off the xbox sales not as much as sony but why would they discontinue that when it makes some money so uh, all they were talking about was bringing some games over to fir like first party games like to like multi uh, consoles like Halo might go on PlayStation maybe I don't know but anyway it was just a rumor that everyone ran with and then it blew up everywhere. That's the world we live in, my friend. It fucking sucks and I hate it. Uh, <laughs> should, should, the scream scream is the fucking even worse than Xbox. I swear to God. Austin says, "Would you rather be stuck in the mist or the storm of the century?" Oh, storm of the century. Oh yeah, dude. I'm not gonna get eaten alive by a goddamn cockamander salamander thing in the mist like i don't know what yeah dude that's, like, a, that's a new pokemon the yeah yeah, that's a, yeah catch them all yeah dude like i don't yeah you, know, you imagine like a big fucking praying mantis eating your asshole alive while in the mist no fuck that i'd rather <laughs> die a twister could rip me up or a storm or whatever stop I'm it not, you're turning me on by the way austin that's a look at his profile pic dude that's artistic as fuck look at that what do you do the green goblin I thought that was just a green jacket. No, it's the look. It's it's the green goblin helmet. I thought. Oh, I thought it was just like your soccer jacket or something, and you no, were just like cool. hanging yeah, it up. Cool. That was you took that picture the day you retired from. Um, it looks from like the green goblin finally hung up his bad guy colors, and now he's a detective in a noir movie. <laughs> 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 I yeah, def it's definitely sort of the century man. Plus, I would just hang out with that guy. He'd, like, just give me what I want. And I'll go. I'd be like, what do you want, you dirty little fucking? Oh, man. Andre Linoge. By the yeah. way, Andre Linoge is not even like he's kind of a pussy. He has to power up first. You have to be afraid of him for him to even do anything. He all he goes, he goes. <laughs> That's all he does. <laughs> he's like, a, ooh, he's just a pussy cat. Well, certain types of bald people do scare me. No offense if you're bald. It's not on purpose. They just genuinely creep me out. But it's got to be a certain kind of looking guy. He's not one of them. Jason Statham doesn't creep me out. It's a, it's a, it's like a slightly overweight, sweaty bald man. John Malkovich um, is a little scary. Uh, he's scary, but he's cool. Like, he doesn't oh. scare me. It's a particular... I don't really know how to explain it. Like, you'd have to point me to a bald man and ask me, does Anthony this man Hopkins scare you? And I'd say Anthony yes. Hopkins is Sons of the Lambs. Nope, doesn't creep me out. That's that's, that's not it. I'm I talking about like a businessman. He's sweaty. He's carrying a briefcase. It's got a peanut butter sandwich in it. There was just like I don't know what to tell you. Uh, anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. I I do know. I also missed a lot of fucking trailers last night, you guys, because there was a lot going on, a lot of conversations, a lot of things happening. Um, did you guys hit on any of your bets? By the way, I only hit on one. The only bet I hit on was Chris McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey first touchdown of the game. I won a hundred bucks on that because um, he scored the first. Yeah, touchdown. I saw that was exciting. In our group message, that if you if they'd won twenty three, you'd have won eighteen hundred. Dude, I got fucking so hosed though. Yeah, I, I bet I did a twenty five dollar bet. If you pick the perfect, if you pick the exact score, <laughs> and I picked twenty three to 20, 49ers. at a point in the fourth fucking quarter. 
the Chiefs were driving, and all I, there was like six minutes left in the game. The Chiefs were down, and they were driving. And if the Chiefs had just scored a touchdown uh, on this drive, then and then the 49ers would have came down and scored a touchdown to win. I would have hit it perfectly and won eighteen hundred fucking dollars. And uh, the Chiefs kicked a fucking field goal, and we know the rest. God damn it! But anyways, but I got now close, you can't. You, you lost the scholarship. You can't go, and everyone yeah. knows you're a loser. Get out of my face! I almost you don't know them. how to pick them. You're fired. I almost did it. What was that's that? All... Is that two for the money? You don't know. You you can't pick them. You're fired. Yeah. That's the yeah. That's a great fucking betting movie too, yeah, by the way. Um, but I know that uh, what I was well, what I was trying to get out there actually before I went on a rambling um, nonsense. I, I only saw one commercial I truly loved, and I'm going to show it to you guys now, and we can rank it uh, before pee pee break time. Yeah, and my favorite fucking one. <laughs> this is fucking great, dude. It's really the only one I really super enjoyed that I can remember, but I miss some of them. Um, I'll show it to you guys now. It's the Michael Cera Cerave commercial. Mm. I, I I forgot about that guy. Holy shit! What's he been doing? Does he still smell like soup? Dude, this is. This, <laughs> I'm not this gonna is, go out there. She smells like soup. From what, from what I saw of it, it's literally his character from. Uh, this is where the world ends, or whatever. Yeah. The end oh, of the world. Yeah, I, yeah. When he that's that, the line that I remember. He's like, she smells like soup. Wasn't that in Juno when they were telling him you should go out with this girl? He's like, I'm not gonna. She smells like soup. I don't know. I don't remember that. I one. think it was Juno. It was funny as fuck though. Uh, but no, you know when uh this the end of, this is the yeah, end or whatever. When he's, yeah, when, when he's all yeah. Those girls are eating his butt. He's like yeah. feeding him a Capri <laughs> Sun. Uh, yeah, in yes. another world, that's my brother. He he would enjoy that a lot. <laughs> that, <laughs> would, that would totally be cool. Um, but uh, no, this is um, this this just randomly came on during the Super Bowl last night. I'm Michael Sarah, and I'm pleased to announce that this is my cream. Sarah, Sarah, <laughs> I knew he's gonna whisper it. You didn't know? Generosity. <laughs> the truth has been hiding in plain sight. I am Sarah. <laughs> I'm a mystery. <laughs> Can human skin truly be this moisturized? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Let my cream hydrate you. <laughs> I like this. Skin, skin, skin. <laughs> He's getting stuck on it. Essential serum all day hydration. <laughs> I'm telling them our story. Sarah V. Developed with my now kiss. V. <laughs> we like? <laughs> I just think it would be really nice if people think that I make this. That's like, it, that feels like me and Mike asked to demonetize our shit. That's <laughs> like. The, be the, the best good. part is just the let my cream hydrate you. I like it. When he was like, I lost it when he fucking said that. I like that. when he was like generosity, and he was like <laughs> hiding, like he was a mystery to be un, un like solved. But you know that remind that that reminded me of something like the Lonely Island used to do. Like it looked like an opening to a Lonely Lonely uh, Island video. Yeah, no, it did. It did have that vibe to it, 100. Uh, percent There's a Ben Affleck one that I'll show you uh, after we get to time with PP time. But let me put that uh, in the chat. Again, just any Super Bowl commercial that says "Let my cream hydrate you" to me is one of the greatest. That's things what, I've ever I, seen that's in my what life. I'm going to say right before I orgasm. <laughs> Let, Let my, my cream, cream hydrate, hydrate you. you, and we'll uh, be right back. <laughs> yeah, you know they meant to do that shit on purpose. That was dirty on purpose. I know. You fucking know it. Um, yeah, that'd be right back. All right, enjoy the pee pee. I know I will enjoy his pee pee. That's what I was going for there. That's what I meant to. That's what I meant to say. Uh, as far as twisters go, you guys say pretty rad. The twisters trailer is pretty rad, which is exactly what Jay and I said. 55% said pretty rad, 26% said fuckable, 13 almost such as the sun, and 6% said all timer. 6% of you guys really liked the motherfucking twisters trailer. Um, there's a shadow moving behind me, and uh, I'm frightened by it. It's just the dog. So there's too much for me to click on here twisters is pretty rad how do you guys rank the uh michael sarah sarah v commercial it's going to be the next poll question personally for me it almost touches the sun 
I mean, any any fucking Super Bowl trailer, all these families watching, everyone everyone's eyeballs are on it. You spent seven million dollars to have Michael Sarah look at the camera and go or wipe cream on a rock and go, let my cream hydrate you. To me, that's just fucking absolute genius. And I think that commercial almost touches the sun. But I'll let you guys vote on it. And uh, as we go through the night, tell us the ones that you thought were the best. And we will rank them as well. I got to click the button here. Again, too many screens, not enough dick. I mean, time. Time. What the? F My computer's not working. So that's cool. That's what I needed right now. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. If you could stop fucking doing that to me, you cocksucking piece of fucking shit. Oh, here we are. Thank you. Sometimes you just got to be a little... Ah. Uh, uh, you got to get a little angry with it to make it work. That's what I do to my VCR. I fuck it. Um, hey, Michael, Sarah, commercial. Oh, timer. You know, I really got to get somebody else to fucking do this. I'm trying to do two things at once, like Travis Kelsey abusing his elderly coach while playing football. Two things at once. Fucking douchebag. All timer and then uh, pretty rad. Nope. No, it's almost touches the sun. I will not allow a sucks my butt Steve option because that commercial was too goddamn good. And the poll doesn't have enough room for all those options. So suck it, Steve. You don't get a choice. Huh. DJ Grimp, thank you so much, fucking dude. That's very kind. You guys are being so kind to us tonight, man. We really appreciate it. Uh, finally watched X and Pearl over the weekend. Let me tell you guys, I was scared, horny, confused, happy, sad, terrified, horny. There was two hornies in there, so you're double horny, and now I know why what, what you're thinking. And captivated by the performance, I'll forever remember Mia Goth as Pearl. The scarecrow scene did something to me. Um, I know what it did to you. Um Based on the amount of hornies in your sentence, DJ, uh, you jerked off to it afterwards. And you didn't have to say it, but you said it. And now we all know. And we're all picturing you alone in your room using your own tears as lubrication. Uh, you know, <laughs> dude, those movies are fucking wild. Like, they, are, I love them so much. And you're right, Mia Goth fucking killed in them. Uh, tell me, how did you feel about the old person sex scene? How did you feel about that one? Did you... Did you try, you know, just to see if you could? It's like a challenge, right? I did. There is no try. <laughs> he finished, too. Do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> uh, Jay just watched X for the first time ever on the commentary. He still hasn't seen Pearl. Uh, there's a scene no, in there. I watched well, I, I don't, you watched? Oh, you did watch Pearl. Yeah, I watched it. Um, we're talking about when she, uh, you know, did the things she did to the corn. Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty, it was a wild night in Bangkok, eh? <laughs> one night in Bangkok. <laughs> wild night. Wild night. She didn't remember it. She got crazy at the Super Bowl party. <laughs> Some people probably had a night like that. Probably Chiefs fans. They actually fucked corn. Um, anyways, hey, thank you so much, DJ. You're the fucking best dude. Um, all right, Jay. I'm gonna pee, pee now. It's 8 11 p.m. is where we are at. Okay. With Corso. The goddamn pit is blue. Uh, 8 11. Dude, Shane Falco was fucking awesome, D-Land, by the way. It's like quicksand. And everything's going wrong, and it just feels like you're in quicksand. Yes. Have you found it? Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, Corso, uh, Ta Travin, thank you so much. Says, what? Hello? The pit is blue! The goddamn pit is blue. Mike already did it. Jay, Mike, Kotar 2, then Kotar 1. No sausage on the pizza. I don't like sausage on the pizza. No one does. Uh, no, I'm kidding. If sausage on the pizza, it's not bad. But uh, as far as Kotar 2 being better than 1, in some ways, yes, I did like it a lot. I thought Kotar 2 was... was. I feel like it was ahead of its time. <laughs> I just think there was a lot of things about that mechanically that didn't work. But I feel like I did like that you could customize the lightsabers a little bit more. There was different colors that you could choose from. I thought the story uh, of of the of the uh, gray Jedi, I, your protagonist, and it was pretty well done. I liked the fact that he had caused a rift in the Force. Anyway, I don't want to. It's a, it's a, it was a great story. I see. I would love to see those kind of stories in the new Star Wars universe, or you know, under the uh, Disney Star Wars. But I'm no, of course, they don't want to do that because they suck dick holes. But yeah, yeah, I like Kotar two better, probably better than Kotar one. I will say that. Yeah, it's it's controversial, but I'm here for it. It's fine. 
Nico, thank you so much. Says uh, Patty fucking Mahomes, fellers. Niners who? Montana who? San Fran where? Mahomes and the Chiefs by a million next year versus whoever comes from the NFC next season's three-peat incoming. That's a bold move there, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out, but you might be right. I don't know. Uh, was was he on fire? Did he do good? He's got all that support at his, you know, with his loving wife. Yeah. Uh, Kansas City are good. <laughs> I actually thought, to be fair, the what I what I saw a little bit of, I thought the Niners were going to pull it out. I didn't watch the Super Bowl, what I'm saying earlier in the season, but yeah, man, you guys got a good team. You guys got a good team. You got a three peat, not incoming, but we'll see. Wild Willie, thank you so much. Says, Q. okay, so I'll let that from my, that's a Wahlberg thing. Uh, that's an 811. Keep on cruising. Isaac Slayton says, I rank it terrible and wish Thanos really snapped. What you rank what terrible? I don't know what you mean, but that's fucking extreme. The <laughs> oh, holy shit, dude, that's throwing out the baby with the bathwater. I wish, that, like, I just ranked it wrong. I wish everyone died, <laughs> but hey, it's okay. It's okay. We'll get it, we'll get it next time. Corso Travin also says, thank you so much. There says, uh, Bruce Lee has a vegetarian brother. His name is Broccoli. <laughs> yeah, dude. Broccoli, the, the Veggie Tales Adventures. That was a good one. I liked it. Broccoli. The Secrets of the Vegetable. Uh, nighttime, thank you so much. As Usher was boring. Best Super Bowl halftime ever was Creed 01, and I'm a black <laughs> That's fine, dude. Yeah, I, I'll be fair. Um, I watched um the usher halftime show i wasn't i wasn't overly impressed with it either um i thought it was weird that he didn't even play um you make me want to you know that one song but i it wasn't my cup of tea but the, i remember the Cree 2001 was really good and then i i did enjoy the weekend halftime show and i liked um i think i liked the eminem one pretty well too but yeah i wasn't like a huge fan of the usher one but it is what it be and I didn't know who some of the fucking people were that they brought out. Like, like the one lady that was playing guitar in her leather outfit, I, it looked like somebody from a Mace a P Diddy music video from like 2000. I was like, who the shit is that? I could, I don't know. I'm old. Uh, Frankenstein Studio. What's up, man? Says, uh, look at these two morose mother lovers right here. Can Charles explain pegging to Loomis? Oh my God. I don't want to hear about that, but I'll let Mike know at 820. Uh, El Shappy Uriax, thank you so much. Says, What's your favorite modern day horror directors? Mine are David Bruckner, The Ritual Hellraiser, The Night House, and Scott Derrickson, The Black Phone, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, and Finister. Modern day horror director. I really like, um, and I can never remember his name, but I think uh, the guy that directed Lights Out, Pony Smasher, I, I, I like him a lot. I think he's he does some interesting things. And I think he's not afraid to take risks. And and he made Lights Out in a way that was really unique and, and different from all the other supernatural horror movies that had come out at that time. I also, I know it's pretty, everyone's going to say, well, everyone would pick that. But I, I did, I do like, um, what the fuck's his name? I don't know how, um, is it The Conjuring or, or Sinister? Hold on. I must look up. Who directed that? James Wan. Yeah, thanks. James Wan. Thank you, Google. Uh, Ash Jeeves. Yeah, so that, I mean, that's the only two I can think of off the top of my head. But yeah, those you've got great choices there, too. The Hellraiser movie. Are you talking about the newer one, like the new, new one or, or the last like uh, Hellraiser Judgment? I don't remember if David Bruckner did that one. Um, Cruthen, 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 Cruthen. Uh, Michael Parton, thanks, dude, says, I hope James Gunn cast Glenn Powell as Hal Jordan. We'll see what happens. I'm excited to see what happens with James Gunn over there at D.C., Hopefully we get some good shit. I mean, I'm still going to be butthurt about the fact that Henry Cavill is no longer a part of that universe. And I do think that they did him dirty dick dong long wrong, but you know, it is, I'll get over it. Uh, Gold Glover 23. If you think he looks good in a white shirt, you should see Mike covered in sand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he looks good though. Uh, Kyle says, uh, thanks dude. Says watch Bloodsport first time. Fucking awesome. Yo, dude, it's one of the best. It's probably like, dude, Bloodsport might be the best martial arts movie, period. Okay. Might be. Um, I love that fucking movie. I, I that's I, we like my brother and I rented that movie so many times we broke the tape. Like Frank Duke's the story, even when the story turned out to be fake, it's still amazing, dude. It's it's I think it's one of Van Van Damme's maybe his best role he's ever done, period. But it's really good. I'm glad you enjoyed it, dude. Have we ever done a commentary? I think we did. 
Um, Gold Glover 23 says, I'd love to see Deadpool's wiener again. Yep, that's definitely going to happen, I'm sure. We'll pull that big old fucking burnt sausage out. Let everybody take a gander at it. I'm sure it's going to happen. Uh, Cruisin, Cruisin. Frankenstein Studio again says, how many people do you think got it on after the game and said, let my cream treat you? Probably a lot, dude. That's a great fucking line. It makes me sad that I didn't come up with it because it would have been amazing. Uh, you know, obviously it would have been just, no girl would have expected it. Right. And you'd just be happy that she let, you know, she laid there and let you do what you had to do like a fucking drunken fish. And then you just say, let my cream hydrate you right before you blew. I'd th th say a lot. There was a lot of drunken sex going on and mistakes happening. After. Oh, you're talking about when you and I hung out last week. Yep. Uh, there's two, one for eight, 11, uh, and there was another one, 811, uh, Wild Willie. It's a Wahlberg thing. And then, um, uh, uh, and then there was a uh, Frankenstein studio at 820 for pegging. Oh, I love pegging. Um, Michael said, <laughs> the left OJ as a kid, Mike probably. Yeah, all my heroes turned to shit except for Blink. Um, while Willie can Wahlberg give my friend Alyssa a shout out, I convinced her to check out the channel tonight. She's a big time horror fan. I told her how great you are. Um, uh, thank you for checking out the channel, Alyssa. I really appreciate you coming by. You know, say hi to your mother for me next time you see her. I'll come over. I'll bring her some tricks. You know, Liam Neeson was in my movie Ted 2. He was talking about, hey, are these tricks for kids? And I was like, what's wrong with Liam Neeson? Is he having a stroke? Of course, tricks are for kids. I tried to eat tricks once and I got so angry that I went outside and I club stomped the Puerto Rican. Everybody knows that about me, but now I'm a Christian and I do movies with Mel Gibson. Thank you, Wild Willie. Thank you, Alyssa, for checking out the channel. And um, pretty soon you'll see us naked. So, and not, not by force or anything. We just, we slowly lose clothes as the show goes on. So I hope you enjoy male nudity. And you, had, you lose brain cells as you watch. Isn't it fun how things That's work out? That is true. Uh, dignity, we lose it all. Um, we really do. Uh, Dude, water sucks. Water is, it makes you pee a lot, though. That's good. <laughs> Does it taste like beer? <laughs> it doesn't taste like that's the problem. They should make a beer flavored water and see well, how that Yeah, it's called non alcohol Ultra. beer. Michelob Ultra. <laughs> you yeah, should well, love water. Some people should say that, but you know what? I don't want to hear your derogatory marks toward <laughs> me tonight. <laughs> um, Frankenstein Studio, look at these two morose motherfuckers right here. Uh, can Chalice explain pegging to Loomis? Um, I uh, I did pegging once in San Antonio. And uh, uh, I don't know. I was there for a convention, something about masks. A doctor uh, came over and he was like, hey, we want to try this, this new thing called pegging. And uh, Loomis, what you do is you, you want to put on a, a, a piece of wood. You want to strap it around your waist there. All right. And I'm going to come, you know, I'll just show you. I don't, why would I explain it to you? I'll come over to your house Saturday night. We'll have a couple of PBRs and uh, we'll just get down to it. I'll peg you and then you can make me a sandwich. How's that I'll sound shoot to you? you. Shut up. You don't come into my house. You don't come near me. The restraining love, order is not worn out yet. But you love carpentry. So I was just going to. The only carpentry, carpentry I would like to have is where your bed underneath of it. Shut up. Jesus, Jesus was a carpenter. That's all about it. Uh, that yeah, I got yeah, I got that all the other ones okay. after. Uh, but you could answer that one. I I picked uh, James Wan and and uh, Pony Smashers. Like, what's your favorite modern day horror directors? I can only think of two. Oh, that's tough. That's really fucking tough. Oh, modern is a loaded word. I'll go Flanagan. Uh, Mike Flanagan, Flanagan Mannequin, and uh, I'll say yeah. <laughs> I'll say Eli Roth. I can't think of anything better right now. That counts as modern day. It's still newish enough, right? Yeah, I was gonna. I, I would. I would have done like Quentin Tarantino, but he's really not done one, even though he feels like he would have done one by now. But he's not. Yeah, and he's been around for a long fucking time too. So, but I'd still count that as modern. You well, know, Robert Rodriguez has been. I mean, yeah, that's true too. That'd be another one. He needs to do more horror. Actually, you could even throw in uh, Zack Snyder because he's he's done like uh, yeah, yeah Zack Snyder. Yeah. That counts. I like it. Hey, we reached 300 in the chat. Thank you fucking guys for hanging out tonight. Hey, all right. All uh, right. If you just take a finger right now and just put it inside of yourself. Or Quick, you could say it, something offensive so we can lose half of them. Yeah. Or you could take that same finger uh, unwashed and just click the like button. That helps a lot, too. We really appreciate everybody being here. Uh, what timestamp did you end at? I don't know. I think we were just done. Uh, we caught up. You caught up? Yeah. God damn. All right. Yeah, I was cruising. 
It's cruising. Keep on cruising. Somebody, some of them I couldn't understand. <laughs> I couldn't understand what they were asking or what they were saying. Oh, uh, no, no. Okay. They, there was a few new ones that came in after you were answering. Um, uh, hold on. I can, I can remember. I can see again. Okay. I left off at Frank 849. So anything after 849 is new. Oh, okay. Now, now I got you. 849. The Quats Quats of Fieldston's new, my friends. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Um, so you got Frankenstein? Mm hmm. Let my cream hydrate you. This still great. fucking makes me laugh. Austin, they say if Mike pees too much in your local pond, it turns the friggin' frogs gay. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, that's true. Because uh, frogs, they're, I don't know if anybody knows this. Frogs are actually born. Well, Mike, when Mike's done peeing in the pond, they jump out of the water and go, rip it. <laughs> rip it. <laughs> rip it, bitch. <laughs> JK says, Mikey watching WrestleMania 40 this year. The Rock turning heel for the first time since 2003. Got me way more hype, hype for it. Jay, nice hat. Thanks. Mike got it from me. I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, it looks good. It looks good on you. The colors match your tone. I want to. I was going to say something. I was going to like, yeah, I got it from your mom. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um dude i will i think i will watch wrestlemania i think i skipped the last one i watched the last couple before that i just have a i have a a, a a tradition these days where i don't watch any wrestling all year long and then i watch wrestling on during wrestlemania and i give all my comments on twitter and i make wrestling fans really fucking mad at me and i kind of missed it last year I'm, i think i will do it again dude, I I thought, wrestling fans overall are like star wars fans they're like yeah. insane like mm -hmm. I, I still I, every time I think about dudes when I go back to that Chris Jericho music video that we watched and we liked the fucking thing and we were like roasted like endlessly oh, yeah. like if we were roasted so bad we looked like Freddy Krueger by the time it was done reading all the comments <laughs> like it was that bad I'm like holy shit we said we liked it you fucking sick cell fuck yeah and wrestling fans you you really got to give people more of a, a break with that shit because here's the thing wrestling's like baseball like it's on every single week so like mm -hmm. only the hardcoreest of the hardcore can really keep up with it you know the rest of us are just floating around the wind waiting on someone other than roman reigns to fight at wrestlemania yeah which is I, never I ever no gonna happen interest in it. yeah i mean it's cool that they got rock back to do the heel thing but it's like again it feels like it's so creatively bankrupt it's like mm -hmm. they're just going back and back like they did in the olden days and try to get the older wrestlers to come back to get some hype up on it. I don't know. It's just... It... Knowing nothing at all about uh, Cody Rhodes. Is it Cody Rhodes? Didn't he do... Uh, no, I didn't he do Gold Dust? No, I, I think maybe that was his dad. The no, Dusty Blondie. Rhodes didn't. Dusty Rhodes, take uh, me home. A real American <laughs> hero, yeah. <laughs> The Cody guy. Yeah, he's new. Cody Rhodes. Yeah, Cody Rhodes. Cody he's Rhodes, new. Dustin I'm interested Rhodes. in him because he's a newish character and like we, uh, you know, they're bringing new lifeblood into it. Um, but I'm just so sick of Roman Reigns and every fucking WrestleMania for the past 10 goddamn years, it feels like, you know? Yeah. Um, Thunderstorm 99 says the Twisters trailer, all timer. They had to film it in Oklahoma and it's the only way to get the feel. The trailer gave the same feel in the first movie did. Mm -hmm. I, I love it, man. Um, Based on cool your profile that, pick, you must be an extra. He likes tornadoes. And I, I know. I love tornadoes, that. too. I love it. I love your profile pic. That looks like an awesome uh, fucking thing. I don't know, dude. That was one of our dreams as a kid is to, like, when you grew up, we were just going to go buy, like, a shitty, like, news van, like, from the Turtles, just drive around and fucking chase tornadoes with no idea on what to do. It's just act yeah, like man. we did. We'll get, like, we'll just go out and get, like, equipment that looks like it's legit, like beepers and shit. And, <laughs> and then just drive around, like, it's over there, man. Uh, dude, that was that's one of my favorite childhood memories is sitting at my mom's table with those fucking crowns and a bunch of paper, and we were all drawing tornadoes because we just watched Nature's Fury on VHS. And we'd yeah, like dude. pause it and like the tracking and everything. That one's a fucking F5. There's no way, dude. That's an F3 at best. It's like, shut the fuck up, I'll fight you again. And then we get in fist fight. Great. Um, great times, yeah. man. Youth. Um, Austin says Vince McMahon dumped on my mom and strutted confidently out of my house. That's we've all been there. Yo, was there. uh was what's his name watching from the trees hops uh what's his name uh, sting no, no, no yeah sting was watching and making sure, and like, vengeance, nothing. vengeance was gonna be visited upon vince no who's the guy was brock lesnar there to make sure nothing everything went okay <laughs> he was next just waiting he was like holding the up. door open for vince and be like don't say a goddamn word <laughs> Gary, thank you so much. Says, have you seen the AMC popcorn bucket for Ghostbusters? It's a ghost trap. It looks really oh, cool. Oh shit, that's oh. badass. No, I'm, dude, I'm getting it. That looks fun. All right, I don't I'm, give I'm, a shit. I have no shame of like. Can I get one of them ghost trap ghost buckets over? I'm looking it up right like, now. Sir, we only have one left, and there's a child that wanted it. It's like I don't give a shit. He should get a job then. 
<laughs> uh, I must be looking at old ones. Oh no, he, dude, this is fucking dope. You're gonna shit your little panties I've out. I've already done it. <laughs> um, look at that. Oh, dude, that that's is... where are they giving it? Oh, at Regal, sweet man. Yeah, that is so sweet. Oh, there's the AMC one too. Yeah, I mean it's pretty much the same one though. Yeah, that's that. Would be, this would be cool too. I don't know. This was for Afterlife, I guess. The Ecto one. Oh yeah, that's cool. I wonder, if that, I, wonder, I guess I wonder if that's limited. Like I guess that's opening night only. Yeah, I want that though. That ghost trap one is sick. Yeah. Best mm -hmm. memories ever, man. Pushing that little that little squeaker that would go like how like, much is that? Like, like 20 bucks? Well, they sell it. It's like 20, 25 bucks. My best guess is that you get the popcorn for free and it's like 1999 probably. But the popcorn was like probably nine bucks at least. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, well, if they run out, I'll, I'll slap some kid in the face and take it from him. No one will know. <laughs> Dude, I guarantee within two hours, them bitches will be, them shits will be up on eBay. They will. For like I know. $200. I know. Fucking assholes. Let's, they did that with the screen buckets, too. Somebody fucking sent me one. Thank Christ. I would have never gotten one. Uh, Gold Glover says, pretty sure Mike likes edging more. Um, what is all this dirty ass talk, you sons of bitches? What the fuck are you talking about, Gold well, Glover? Why do you pal. look like uh, two steps forward, two steps back? <laughs> you look like the animated cat from the Paul Abdul music video. What are you doing here? <laughs> or like an anti-drug dare cat. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I I just thought maybe he was talking about Blink-182's song, Edging, which is a great song. I ain't that I cool thought it was like a sexual thing. The head. Isn't uh, edging it, like a fucking thing? Yeah, it's when you fuck, and then like right when you're about to come, you stop, and then you start like going you, really you, slow. You again. edge out your wiener from her vagina so it squirts out somewhere else? No, no, not uh, exactly, but you could do that. I think that's just pulling out, right? I thought it was called edging because it's, it's still, t I don't know. No, it's just when you're about to, and you're like, oh, God, I'm about to. And then you're like, oh, I'm not going to fucking do it, though. And then you keep going, and you're like, oh, God, I'm fucking about to. And then you stop, and then you eat a sandwich with a weapon on your hip. Cool. Yeah. Jacob, thanks so much, dude. Speaking of edging, he says, fucking shit. I was crushed last night and faced backlash from all my coworkers today. <laughs> Diehard Niners fan. Oh, I'm sorry, man. He says, sorry, dudes. I know y'all don't like him, but Deadpool 3 trailer was sick as fuck. Love y'all guys. Beer on me. Hey, I thanks, appreciate Jacob. it, my friend. You're a Diehard Niners fan? Yeah, I didn't know that, Jacob. I don't. I don't hate them. I. I don't. It wasn't like I think the Niners is a classic Super Bowl team. That's why I was actually pulling for them over Kansas City, and I actually like them more than Kansas City. But yeah, I, I don't hate them. Like I don't really. There's not a team that I actually like in the NFL that I just don't like. I outright don't like. It's probably and it, okay. There is one. It would be the Browns. I don't like the Browns. I don't know yeah. what it is. The dirty crack Browns. They just. They're boring. <laughs> they're boring to me. They look boring. I don't know. I just don't like them. That's that, that would probably be the only team I would flat out say I just don't – I have no desire to watch them whatsoever. When they're on TV, like, I'm like, okay, this is like watching Bob Ross paint. <laughs> hey, I love watching Bob Ross paint. That's I do, too. Thing. I'm saying it's great. It's relaxing. It puts me to sleep. Oh, I get you. Yeah, I, yeah. I love I, – I loathe very many NFL teams. And the Niners are one of them, to be fair, just because you guys have knocked the Packers out so many fucking times. Uh, I've had to watch Colin Kaepernick shit all over the Packers. I had to watch fucking – and we lost to him this year. But – in the face of the Chiefs, I was also rooting for the Niners. So I actually do feel bad for you. And because you're such a fucking cool dude, I, I do feel bad for you. That sucks, man. Um, but I, I would it's love so to say. so far, but not that far. <laughs> that was I, like, it sounded like something 80s I was going to make up. <laughs> well, it's crazy because like uh, in a way, it's not it's not the exact same, but you could you could reference Bills fans pain here because mm. the Bills got there four times in a row and didn't win. The Niners have been there three times. No, no. Niners have been there twice. Kyle Shanahan's been there three times. Kyle Shanahan was the offensive coordinator on the team, the Atlanta Falcons team that Brady was down 28 to three to and came back and won. So uh, but they've been to the Super Bowl twice and lost. That is fucking painful. So my heart does go out to you. I mean, it'd be nice to get there, but. I don't know what it's like to lose a Super Bowl. It hasn't happened to me in a long time because I haven't been to one in a long time with my team. I mean, uh, love you, Jacob. You're the fucking best, dude. Lee the Machine Bowers is also the fucking best. You're too Thank good you, to man. us, man. Uh, hey, Chalice, let's go out to the bar on Valentine's Day and have some boiler makers, pick up some honeys, and go back to Loomis's house and party and prank call Linda. Ah, uh, I mean, again, again, uh, I, I, I went out with this motherfucker. All right. He had a wig on. And he had a dress on. We went back to his place. We threw on some Rolling Stones. Okay. Uh, my second favorite band. Uh, he was feeding me tequila shots all night. Before I knew it, I was wearing a dress. And uh, I was I was uh, singing the Buffalo Bill song. You know, the... Uh, the uh, doom. Doom. He got game. I got game. You got game. And then it turned out he was a man. And uh, we still finished the night through. And had a good time. Uh, 
Loomis, you were there um, cheering us on. I was not. I was on the phone with the sheriff's department. Shut up. I thought that was you. Uh, I was not there. You weren't inside of me at the end there? No, that was your boyfriend, Steven, not me. Oh. Well, it felt the same. That's the way you make love. You know, Phil, you know, you're, you're going to be the most popular little boy in jail, I swear. Your asshole is going to be like a candy cane. Everyone wants to slide down it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for that. And that uh, saw is clearing up off your lip. I appreciate that. That was a good Cubs game that you and I went to. The bathroom situation was weird, but, uh, you know, you have to do what you have to do to eat peanuts at ball games. Inflation. Goddamn Joe Biden. Anyways, uh, thanks, Lee the Machine. You're the fucking tits. Thanks, Lee. Uh, all right, guys. I think it's time in the night. I think it's that time of night. For us to deflower ourselves. And um, by that, I mean, let's watch the Deadpool 3 trailer. Are you fucking ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, say it like that again. Just one more time. Uh Yeah. Let's do it. I'm ready. I, Poppy. Love (laughs) to me. (laughs) I, Poppy. I, Poppy. (laughs) Love to me down to the street. What's that guy's name? Oh, fucking Pitbull. I hate that. Yeah, he said, like, I, Poppy. Sounds like something he would, like, hire a girl to be like... Like, you know, like he would like his album and be like, Dahlia. He's like, oi, Poppy, don't hurt him. <laughs> Dahlia. Dahlia. Oh, God, I hate that fucking guy so much. Just because he's still really. around. Is he still doing music? It's uh, got to be yeah, better than that. Probably. Dude, I, I didn't even know who this girl was until like fucking an hour ago. The Ice Spice is her name. And yeah. I was like, and, no, dude, she put out, an, I don't know if it's a song or an album. It's like, you ain't shit fart. You ate the shit fart. It's like, is that how far everyone's gotten down? It's like, it's like boo boo gaga farts. <laughs> to be fair, I I respect it. I love f- songs about farts. Yeah, I it's just it. like I don't I didn't read the lyrics, but literally your album is called "You Ate Shit Fart." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was in the she was in the booth last night with Taylor Swift. I know. I, I saw. She's I saw like, some, let I me get on some I, of that camera action. I think that's how I got. Like, I somebody said Ice Spice. It's like I never like I know the Spice Girls, and there was no Ice Spice. Was she like the Green Ranger? Like, <laughs> She's she not like a hidden character. Was. No, I know that's who I thought it was though. I, that's how old I was. Like, oh, she was like a hidden character, like in Mortal Kombat. You had to unlock her, <laughs> like in Reptile. <laughs> <laughs> uh that'd be probably more entertaining than actually what's going on there uh all right here we go fucking dead oh, dude i'm so fucking excited right now deadpool and wolverine this mm. teaser trailer here we go happy birthday to you <laughs> <laughs> all right okay um it's been a challenging few years for sure but i'm happy that is because of each and every one of you i'm the luckiest man alive sugar bear Make a wish, buddy. Dude, he looks like Nick Nolte. Who's that? <laughs> That's a goddamn shit. He does. He looks like he looks like young Nick Nolte from the Forty Eight Hours. Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. <laughs> that's right. See, dude, that's what I'm talking about. It's gonna yeah. be. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fucking fine. All right, I'm gonna go rewind in a second. Disney. Oh, weird. <sighs> Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. <laughs> I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? <laughs> Why am I here? Walk with me. Wait. You are special. Is he working at right, Mark? Oh no, I think this is like the isn't this the time travel thing or the or not the or the alternate dimension thing that they showed in Loki? I don't um, know, I didn't watch it. So I, maybe yeah. I, I, don't, I mean there was like something like it was like interdimensional shit. I don't fucking know, but it's like it was like in between worlds, parallel worlds. Yeah, it looks like he works at like it's fucking special. Walmart. This is your chance to be a hero. God, so heroes. Good. Oh, yeah, it is. That's from Loki, right? I do. Yeah, it's like, it's like the nexus of reality, like where they all like it's like uh they, they these are like they're like pretty much like an FBI that makes sure that the time stream stays normal or some <laughs> shit. Look at the little tufts of hair on his head. <laughs> and it looks like my hair when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> I'm starting to lose it. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. He said he was Captain America. Was sip- I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. The Matic universe is about to change forever. Mm. I'm the Messiah. I am Marvel Jesus. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the fingers got uh, up in there. Uh, they can think you were inside of me. Uh, His costume was a lot more red. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, please. Oh, my God. He said, oh, my I'm so hard right now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the Secret Wars comic book. Oh, yeah. It's a Secret Wars comic book. Very nice. Very sexy. <sighs> Fuck, we don't even have Wolverine yet. And this is already fucking awesome. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was wearing his costume, which that was spoiled by everybody. Yeah. By, by the lead. So loud. It looks good. Yeah, I mean, Weird. obviously, it's going to be amazing. Uh, and you get Wolverine, Hugh Jackman coming back, most likely for the last time ever. Uh, you get the iconic yellow suit that everyone's wanted to see since, like, the Wolverine standalone movie. Um, yeah, it's great, man. Looks good. I'm fucking pumped for that. I'm so, dude, I'm so, I, like, I didn't think I could be more excited for it. The shot of him, like, laying there in the car while it's covered in blood, the fucking mm -hmm. pegging con. He talked about pegging in the same sentence as Disney. Uh, the, oh, my, dude, this is going to be raunchy as shit. Like, I, all, yeah. all of my fears are fucking gone. Out the window. I never had, I didn't, I, I didn't really, I had some reservations. I have more reservations about whether or not this will be his last time doing it. Ryan Reynolds. I don't know. That's where I'm like, we're like, I don't know if he'll come back if, because Disney has to do like they had to do a third one because there's no way that anybody would have been like they would have been like, oh, it, it'll be fine. The fans will forget about it. Like if we just say no, because we're not going to have or if we like watered it down, like first off, Reynolds wasn't going to be a part of it if they watered it down. And then second off, they would have had to replace Reynolds with somebody else. And that wasn't going to happen with the fans. And third, also, if you look at it like uh, Disney is is a bleeding bitch. They've got one fucking property they can pump for some dollars. And right now it's Deadpool because everything else is like dead in the water. Yeah, I, ironically, the thing about him, dude, my dog's over there scratching her head, going, mm. "She got excited oh. for the trailer too." <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? By the way, during the Usher halftime show, she started humping Ethan, like she's never humped anyone before. And Usher's on the TV, and all of a sudden, my pit bull starts humping people. You make me uh, really want to hump and hump. Mm -hmm. I was like, "You better hope she doesn't, he doesn't play nice and slow because you're fucked, buddy." Um, but dude, no, I'm serious like that. I did not think I could get more excited for it, but I am. They didn't even have Wolverine in the trailer other than the shadow of him sitting at the table, by the way, which is badass. Mm -hmm. I think that's that could be white suit fucking Logan. I don't know why I feel that way. I just have that. Well, he had a white suit on. Did he? I just saw yeah, the shadow. Yeah, it was a white jacket, yeah. Oh, fuck. I didn't notice that. I maybe well, I must have in my perif, but I didn't actually think. It looked like, he looked that. like he was trying to play Daniel Craig in Casino Royale, and he was like playing a <laughs> poker game. Yeah, like I, I know that there's, you know, obviously there's, I think it's like, eight, was it Agent X or Agent Logan or something like that, where he actually, yeah, there was the, the pirate, pirate. There's, a dev, there's very, I mean, I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, it's smart how they're doing it, though, the, like how to get, how to involve Deadpool into, into the uh, normal MCU. So that's pretty interesting. If they can do the Nexus of Realities or whatever the fuck it was called in um, the Low Keep show. I, I wonder if it's going to be, if you're going to, I know there's cameos in it. Like there's a lot of cameos that are supposed to happen throughout the movie, too, which I'm glad. I don't know them all. I knew some of them. But I'm interested to see who they, they who pops up. Yeah, for them to, it's just funny for him to say I'm Marvel Jesus. That's really hilarious because I think Marvel literally needs Deadpool in this movie to fucking resurrect what they've got going on right now. And I think it's gonna fucking do it, dude. Like I think this is gonna. I don't know. I know I'm being very fucking positive right now, but like I really think that this movie could fucking change everything. They might watch this. This movie could fucking explode because it looks like it's going to be hilarious. And by, yeah. and by the way, it's weird because like we always talk about you never get good comedies these days because everybody's afraid to piss people off, afraid to make them. Um, but it's going to be hilarious if comedy is ushered back into the door by a superhero movie. And they're like, hey, let's do more of these. This was fucking fun. And everybody wanted to see it like Disney's driven by money you know, mm -hmm. more than anything fucking else. So if this movie crushes it and kills the box office, it could change things, Jim. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited, man. I'm super fucking pumped. I'm so what? excited right now. Hey, man, I'll be right back. Just give me a second. Okay. Uh, I want to see what some of you guys are saying about it. I know how I feel about it. I'm feeling fucking all-timer 
just all over, just spread across the walls, just blood on the walls, fucking on all timer. That was a dark way for me to have put that. Um, and I really don't know how I feel about it deep, dark inside. So I'm going to skip down a little bit. Uh, so we're more corn. I will go back to the other super chats and shit for sure. Um, but uh, Austin Salem said, I just watched the trailer for Deadpool and I'm so excited, literally screaming that he's officially part of the MCU and within the Loki timeline. Dare I say I'm more excited for this than Quiet Place Day One. Yeah, uh, I am. I, I fucking, I'm super excited for Quiet Place Day One, but I'm in a different fucking stratosphere, pal. A different fucking stratosphere right now. And thank you, Austin, for the super chat. But dude, I can't, I can't believe. Like, I, I don't know about the Loki timeline. I didn't watch the show. I watched the first show, maybe the second episode. I uh, haven't kept up. But that's that's it, right? Like that's the fucking thing. Like Marvel's like, they got so used to everybody showing up for no matter what they put out, and then they're like, we're gonna put out everything. Like I was I was so excited about Marvel at one point. I was like, I'm gonna watch every episode of Agent Shield. Put that shit out, Agent Coulson. I don't give a fuck. Who the fuck is that guy? He looks like the lead singer of Trap. I don't give a shit. I'm watching it. I feel like that was all of us way back when for Marvel, and then they just I think they just they took us for granted and they started just not putting out shit anymore. This has me that gives me that fucking feeling again. Like I got that feeling deep down in my plums. Uh, my son walked in. My wife said, no. I said, no, let the boy watch. He needs to learn like I learned from my father before me, his father before him. Um, I, I have a fucking excitement for Marvel right now that I have not had in years. Uh, and that's just, I love Ryan Reynolds. I love the character Deadpool. It's as good as casting as Wolverine, uh, as Hugh Jackman, who, by the way, is fucking in this too. Like, I, I, I'm forgetting right now that Wolverine's in this movie, but we're actually going to get the Wolverine Deadpool team up and it's going to be fucking beautiful. They didn't even think about that. They did not even have to use Wolverine in this fucking trailer to make us hard. And I could knock down a whole fucking stack of Jenga chips with how hard my dick is right now about this. Um, really pumped about it, and they barely even had to use Wolverine. That's crazy. But dude, uh, again, with the pegging comment alone, and the uh, uh, oh my fuck, and like all the stuff they did there, uh, this is going to be R ready to shit. It's going to be grody as hell, and I fucking can't wait. It's my most anticipated of the year. I don't know if I said that before, but it is now. Everything okay, amigo? Yeah, sorry guys, I had to clean the jizz out of my panties. It was just leaking through. That happens. It's ridiculous. That does yeah. happen. You can uh, anyway. spray and wash it. Spray and wash before you wash them. Well, uh, I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have bought those cheap pant pantaloons at the Walmart. <laughs> Should have wore your white pants. <laughs> yeah, I wore the brown ones. Uh, Mike Barton said, "You think they could make Deadpool toys, and it doesn't have to do with children eight and ten years uh, saw the first two movies at my theater? Also, that ass. He does have a tight butt. Yeah. Um, you think they can make Deadpool toys, and it doesn't have to do with children? Yeah. I mean." Well, it's weird, too, because back in the day, remember in, like, the 90s, they used to make RoboCop toys and, like, yeah. aliens. And like, that was literally, like, blood, tits, ass, gore, everything in the movies, and they made toys for kids. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean... Yeah, yeah they'll, I mean, yeah, there's definitely going to be Deadpool toys. I mean, <laughs> Disney's not stupid. I mean, they're a soulless bastard company. They're going to be like, yeah, fuck the kids. Make, them fucking, <laughs> make a Deadpool-themed dildo. It's going to be great. <laughs> You know what would have been a, a fucking <clears throat> um, fucked up is if they made a a, a toy of, uh, sold at Walmart of Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. <laughs> now that would have been kind of fucked up. Yeah, they could have they could have they could have they could have sold it like a set with Murray. Like recreate the uh, recreate the iconic scene with Joker and Murray. That would have been with exploding weird. brains. That would have been weird. As fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you squeeze it, he cries. Jacob, thanks, buddy. Jacob. Little makeup you wanted to says uh by the way finish the kickboxer sequels on saturday Whoa. stopped at four because sasha mitchell wasn't in the fifth one yeah. but i overall enjoyed them a lot way better than the blood sport sequels I'm kong sure. po in the fourth was an embarrassment though yeah dude i i like i thought i remember watching kickboxer three and i fucking hated it but kickboxer two was great and it still is one of my like you guys don't know that movie go out and check that out sasha mitchell was amazing in that he's the last uh of the brothers um sloan david sloan it's really good, but yeah, Tong Po and the guy that played Tong Po was actually strangely enough, he's one of uh, Van Damme's uh, best friends. That and, and he, he appeared in Bloodsport. He was the guy that had his leg opened up. If you guys know what scene I'm talking about, but yeah, yeah, Tong Po was terrible. Duty jo juices in the last, but then again, after the, after the second one, they were like, I think they were just happy that they got any money for it. So they were like, let's pump this bitch until it's dry. Oh, I love doing that. That's one of my favorite mm -hmm. things to do. Yep. When my friends come Get your over. Money's 
D Mitch says, Mike J, ask me about my wiener. How's your wiener? And how's it doing? How's your wiener? Short, by the way, and always to the left. <laughs> accepted, by the way. If you guys have not seen Accepted with Justin Long, really good. Um, you gotta watch it, man. It's so underrated. Um, thanks, D Mitch. Remember when he screams like a bitch and he's like, ah, and he's like, it'd be really cool if you guys wouldn't tell anybody about this. <laughs> You the shit sandwiches. Uh, Jacob says, "Yeah, I grew up in San Jose. Uh, very Niners and Raiders heavy. I hate the tribalism, though. I'll root for both, but I'm a Niners fan. Yeah, yeah I, I get you. Yeah. Well, the Raiders shouldn't be imposing on you guys at all now because they're in Vegas. Yeah, which is so weird to me calling the Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders. That's so weird. But it does make sense. Raiders because casinos pretty much steal everyone's bank account and says fuck you. That they make you like sell off your kids' college tuition <laughs> to pay for it. They get you addicted to gambling. So Raiders make sense." In Las it does, Vegas, does but it's so weird. Uh, so to me, it, L.A. Raiders is when I always remember them. Yeah, or uh, Oakland. Oakland's where my mind goes. Just because uh, well, they still play like, in that LA, fucking baseball field. Yeah, well, L.A. was with Bo Jackson. Is the reason why L.A. Raiders. Yeah, that's and that does sound. It fits better than they did with the Rams or like you know. But I, I think that's uh, I think the Raiders could be good next year. I don't know. I don't know. Watch out. Well, they. Jeopardy. I mean, they, they fucking fire head coaches like they're trying on new pants every year. The Raiders do. <laughs> it's like they, they can't keep a head coach. Uh, I agree with D. Mitch also. Travis Kelce has become the most unlikable player in football. Patrick Mahomes, though, is a legit good dude. He seems yeah, like it's just I his family think, yeah. around him. You yeah. know, I think Patrick Mahomes is like an all right kid. Uh, Danny Darby says, hey, Jay, I'm a Browns fan. Come on, man. I know our quarterback's like Vince McMahon, but I got to root for my football team. He does love those massages. He does. <laughs> Look, Danny, what are you doing? Like, already, Danny, you've got a picture of Kelsey as your profile pic? <laughs> Screaming at, at Reed? <laughs> <laughs> that's what he looked like. If you're a fan, hey, no, if you're if you're a Browns fan, that's cool, man. I, I don't. I mean, it's whatever. I just I think they're boring. I it's I, my uh, brother's father-in-law is like a huge Browns fan. I just I don't know, dude. I, if I grew up in Cleveland, yeah, I, I was like, what else are you gonna do? Are you gonna have to either cheer for the Browns or rob a house? <laughs> some people some people took the other option or, or really you can do both or yeah i like the cleveland indians because of the movies <laughs> yeah major league fucking rule, yeah major league I, was awesome cleveland if indians. i wasn't a brains braves fan i would be an indians fan just because i love major it league would either so be much. them it would be them or or angels because i did like angels in the outfield yeah angels in the outfield that's a good one too uh became a lot film says my guys out of work director or i'd send more you don't oh, have to send anything, cool, man. man. We appreciate you, nonetheless. Uh, would uh, love to have your opinions on my latest film, as Gail would say, off the record, of course. Get it up. Get it up! Um, you know what's funny, dude? You say that, and you're, su and you're sweet about it. Um, sometimes people aren't. Sometimes people are like, uh, uh, well, I won't even get into that whole thing. That's a whole other thing. Sometimes people are fucking dicks about that. But I do wish you the fucking best with your movie. And uh, I like the name of your... It reminds me of Arabian Nights. Camelot Films, Arabian Nights, yeah. Camelot, Arabian yeah. Gays. Camelot Films, your logo, is it like Excalibur? I like that. That's pretty cool. I dig it, man. Yeah. Uh, Ray Tate Tate says, don't know if you boys like the EDM music, but I came across an artist called Figure. He's made several albums based on classic horror monsters and villains. He's done Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Halloween. Halloween's a good goddamn... That's that, that's that goddamn... Uh, that knockoff wish.com Native American uh, Halloween movie, Halloween. 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 God damn it, Rootin' Tootin'. Nobody going gonna to admit on a public forum that they like erectile dude mans. What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on, Rootin' Tootin'. Get with me. How, how hungover are you right now? Shit, man. It's excited. Dick mongers. I don't know. Um, yeah. Ejaculate dudes. Man, John, I don't know. Erectile dysfunction makes me horny. Something that no Everybody one's dance said. music. <laughs> Everybody dance. <laughs> that's the new now. Now that's what Everybody I call music. Everybody dance music. Mike Parton said, you think they can make Deadpool toys? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh wait, I already read that. Yeah. yeah, I skipped ahead because I was talking I was talking about the, the Deadpool um, stuff that happened with the Deadpool. Because dead poo. Uh, Austin says, Mike, seriously, the State Farm commercial. Did you just not see it? By far the best commercial. Yeah, I, and I'll show that to you guys now. I just, like, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger is just, I'll show it to you. I, I, well, I'll give you my opinions after. First, I'm sick of the State Farm commercial. Secondly, I just think that Arnold Schwarzenegger is too fucking good of an actor and entertainer to be doing nothing but State Farm fucking Super Bowl commercials. And it feels like kind of a played out joke. Like, the guy can fucking act. You know, there's a lot more to Arnold Schwarzenegger than just making fun of the way he talks. So, like, I was a little not butthurt about it. I just think that, like, man, like, 
we could get we could be getting so much better shit out of Arnold Schwarzenegger than this. Uh, yeah. But here's the State Farm Arnold Schwarzenegger commercial for us to rate rank, uh, and we'll also go back and do the Deadpool and all that. Um, here we go. I do love how it ends, though. It was touching how it ends. All right. Uh... Shit! Fuck! Fart! Fuck! I made it. Swish. Kobe! Swish. <clears throat> Thank you, Agent State Farm. Like a good neighbor. The farm is there. Cut! Hey, Arnold, I'm hearing neighbor. It's neighbor. That's what I said. Neighbor. 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 Let's forget. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Like he's he's game for it. Neighbor. Yeah. Neighbor. Just like it's written on the paper. Neighbor. <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> neighbor. He'll know. Neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. Neighbor. Bar. 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 This lady is in labor. What? Arnold? Out of the description. I love her. Thank you, Agent State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Fuck you, Danny. Backstabber. I am a backstabber. <laughs> yeah, like I love that's that cool. they went the twins route. Yeah, that was cool. Know? Yeah, I, I it was fine. But yeah, I, I, it was funny. I just don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm pretty much on the same. I don't care about State Farm commercials anymore. Like, I think the funniest one they ever did was like, "Well, she's a man." Like that was my favorite one. <laughs> the, the, like one of the. It's like she sounds hideous. It's like, well, she's a guy. So, like, <laughs> I, like that, that simple fucking like the end of that was funny. Like that. That was probably the last time I really laughed at a State Farm commercial. I, I would watch. I mean, I would literally watch Arnold Schwarzenegger play fucking chess. You know what they should have done? They should have got. They should have hired him to like to promote like Call of Duty and him screaming on the microphone and other people and they can't understand it. <laughs> that that would have been funny uh, as shit. Call of Duty missed out. Oh no, we have been demonetized. So things never right. change. Some things never change. That's what like I like there. to see. Hell yeah, the world right. still spins normally. Super Bowl didn't change anything as far as that stuff goes. All right, so let's jump back real quick into the tier list and get everything that we've watched ranks before we jump to the next thing. Um, I have so many windows open. So many fucking windows are open on my screens right now. In the case of the last one that we did, where the fuck did it? Fuck, I closed it again, didn't I? You fucking piece of shit. I hope you die, Mike. I really do. I hope you die. I hope you die in a fire. Don't tonight. get out of my uh, head. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was, I was reading Jay's poetry. Oh shit! Um, Where were you, Charles? <laughs> uh, I, I I do like that. Schwarzenegger did give like he's cool enough to make fun of himself and stuff. Well, yeah. I just guys, I just I want some, yeah. Well, um, he's still, I mean, he's still making movies, but he yeah, just, like but he's in a position where he gets to pick the best scripts, which is right. good for him. Yeah, and he just did that show, which I was not a fan of, but uh, he seems to like it a lot. Fubar or whatever, Fuba. Mm -hmm. Um, so the Michael Sarave commercial, everybody agrees with me. All timer, not everybody, but 34%. The majority agree that the Sarave commercial was an all timer. 25% say pretty rad. 23 says all, all, all time low against the spread. All the small things. Fuck me in the fucking ass, man. Almost touches the sun is what they said. But yeah, so, uh, we have our first all timer of the night and that's the Sarave commercial. I uh, like mm. it. Let my cream hydrate you. They should have just called the commercial that. Cream. Sarah's. Yeah, I was just going to say Sarah's cream. Sarah's cream. Should go to the top bunk. We could do karate in the garage. And that's where that one goes. Does everybody, I mean, like, do you at least, do you agree with me that that uh, we may not even have to put this one to a poll? I feel like the Deadpool 3 trailer was a fucking all time. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's the best trailer that, that came out last night, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, that was fucking amazing shits, and I'm so horny right now. I just wish I could just share my dick with all of you so that you could feel how I feel um, about that. So, yeah, that's an all-timer for sure. Let's get that guy right in there. What else did we watch? Uh, Twister's got its place. We just watched The Neighbor ad. Where would you put that, dude? I'd, I'd put it at fuckable at best. I'm going to agree with you there. Only um, because, I mean, Arnold's in it, which elevates it to a higher level, but everything else about it is kind of like whatever. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you on that one. And for the sake of brevity, we will, we'll just stick it right in there and move right the fuck along. Uh, so we're not doing too fucking bad. I, okay, I am going to put a poll up right now, though, because I want to ask you guys how you felt about this. How did we all feel about the fucking halftime show? Uh, it was Ursher. 
Yeah, um, I, uh, actually, um, nighttime is it? Yeah, nighttime. And I were discussing while you were peeping earlier, and uh, uh, two revelations came out. One, and I well, it's not a revelation. I agree with him. He thinks that Creed two thousand one was the best halftime show they've ever done and he thought usher show sucked and he said by the way i'm black and i was like i didn't know you were black <laughs> i didn't know nighttime was black but yeah <laughs> by so, the way i'm black no but anyway uh i personally i wasn't a huge fan of it i didn't think it was bad i didn't think it was great i just thought it was like whatever i thought he can like he can obviously still dance but it was just kind of it was whatever when i watched it i don't know it didn't it, i actually liked I like the weekend when the weekend did it a lot better. I like that, and I know less songs of them than I do of Usher. And I like the weekend's uh, performance better. And I I liked um, Eminem's when Eminem did his as well. But yeah, it was still it was a decent one. And Usher looked good. He looked like Pimp Daddy Cream Jackson four thousand in that white ass suit. He looked like the architect from the Matrix. He looked like the governor of Candyland. But it was still overall. And I didn't even like again. I didn't know who that one chick in the red dress was that he was rubbing her booty on and she was playing the piano like randomly. And then uh, my wife was like, that's Alicia Keys. I was like, oh, that's who it was. See, I don't, I don't, I didn't know. And then I, if they got Ludacris out there with his afro. And that was cool. I haven't seen Ludacris since the fucking, wasn't he in a State Farm commercial, Ludacris? So uh, that was cool. I think, yeah, I think he was in one. And then yeah, uh, little John who gets rich off saying yeah yeah <laughs> uh, yeah yeah skeet skeet yeah good, oh, for, you. Skeet, good skeet. for you little john good for you little john it's like little wayne little john little wayne they got they got they get they say one or two words over and over again and they'll yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. million dollars <laughs> yeah i I, I I wasn't I, I didn't really enjoy it that much. Like I like Usher's like music. Like I well, I can't say that. I'll say I'll say that like some of Usher's songs are nostalgic for me because we grew up in that time period. Yeah. And a couple of them would come on and be like, oh shit, I forgot about that one. And it's like all right, but like they didn't a they had Lady Gaga come out of a and I'm not like a Lady Gaga guy or anything obviously, but like they had her like perine from the fucking rooftop of the thing. Like did this whole big thing. They've done so much big shit before. It just felt like kind of like. Kind of felt lazy, like in a way. You know what it was? We're gonna rollerblade. I'm like, what? Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, that shit. I saw the rollerblade thing. I was like, holy shit! It was like that fucking Will Ferrell movie with the uh, ice skip when they were ice skating. (laughs) Blades of Glory. Blades of Glory. It was like some Blades of Glory shit. Yeah. Yeah. They. I think I was telling him. I didn't like the girl that came out with a guitar and she was dressed all in the leather and stuff. She looked like she was a leftover from the Mace P Diddy music videos that they used <laughs> that's to do. That's what it felt like. Didn't Mace, it? I, 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 you know, that Mo Money, Mo Problems music video. That's what yeah. they looked like when they were all, like floating in the tube with those big jackets. Yeah. But, yeah. I didn't, but it was, but it felt like par for the course. Like it was like we hired, the, we knew everybody would enjoy it. He'll play the, the favorites and we'll move on from there. The light show was cool. <laughs> but yeah. it's uh, there's only so much you can like really in- appreciate watching it on TV. The thing about Usher though, it's also it's weird. Why did he play that? You make me want to, because that was like the one that I only know really Usher for. And he didn't even play it. Yeah, or my way. I don't think my way was in there either. My oh yeah, because I, I did it my way. way. No, that was the other guy. <laughs> That's yeah, uh, not definitely not yeah, Usher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah, no, I just dude, I feel like. um a, there was no controversy. There was no crazy shit that he did. Almost fall down on the skates when he came up through that dude's crotch. I thought Dude, he was that's, I down. know those that guy's that guy's ball sack almost like prevented him. He almost like linebacker stopped him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my balls were stopped. He's like, damn, dude. He goes, your ball sack fucking were hanging like a curtain at a high school play. He was <laughs> like, a real, he got caught in. <laughs> Um, I oh yeah, man, he, and I bet it was stinky too. You know, they've been mm, sweating and dancing. He was sweaty, and yeah, yeah, he came through, and like that guy probably just washed him with his cream. <laughs> As he was like, it's like it's like he uh, his butt fumes were on they high. Had Michael Sarah come I would have said no yeah, during the rehearsals. I'm like, you know, it's going to be 150 fucking degrees in these leather ass puffy jackets, and you want me to skate in between this dude's crack hole and come out the other <laughs> side? I would. That's like asking me to go go it through a car wash and just having them pet skank juice on me with my top down. Fuck that. Like, <laughs> you, what if I do? I would have done that. I, I would. I would have never worked with Usher again. What what that part of it just right like you were the guy and he was supposed to skate through your legs right when he was coming through you went <laughs> <laughs> you like you farted like and no one else can hear but, it, but right when he was coming through you made sure you held that fart and you crop yeah. dusted of all crop dust right on his head. <laughs> I'm into that. I would like nah, that a guy, he that so pissed. He's like, yo, did you fart on my fucking head after the show? <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like, that and Ludacris came out, which is like I, I saw a lot of people like, oh my god, Ludacris! It's like, dude, you could probably no offense, but like you could probably see Ludacris for like thirty bucks at like a local show. Yeah, don't you know he's on like cameo a, for fifteen? 
<laughs> I'm kidding. I, I, mean, I, I could be wrong. Maybe he's still like selling out stadiums. I don't know. But like to me, it was like, okay, it's ludicrous. If I see ludicrous, I want to see the backseat windows up. That's the way you like the fuck. Okay, yeah, like, so I want to see I, that song. I was like, I you saw know? ludicrous. Like, yo, I haven't seen you since a state farm commercial. <laughs> is that thing, like is it like, like a good neighbor? I, oh no, he said this is ludicrous. He goes, Does somebody call my name? And he like pops up in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I mean, so he, it's like I wasn't like shocked to see Ludacris. He's been around. Yeah, and we all know what actually happened is Cat Williams was actually scheduled to do it, but everybody in Hollywood screwed him over and they wouldn't let him come out on stage. They actually beat him up and put him in a duffel bag so he couldn't perform. And we all just wanted to see Cat Williams, but I was <laughs> listen, Mike is literally involved with Kevin Hart. I don't know what it is, but he wants to put him in a fucking pocket like he's little Eminem and like eat him. He's something. gonna write a poem about it later, and we're all gonna have to read it. Uh, yeah. I would have, I, I, you know what? To be fair, I would have watched Cat Williams go on there and rage and give us more secrets than fucking Usher. Put, yeah, him like, in, I, put him in a roller skate outfit and fucking a fluffy jacket that sparkles. <laughs> watch that. By the way, uh, dude, I swear to you, you saw that fucking jacket that that fl that fluffy glittery one that he wore the, that blue one. I was like, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of, I kind of liked it. I'm not gonna say I'd wear it, but I kind of liked it. What I didn't like was the one that had like the the hockey pads as tits and like. That's why I, I kind of like, kind of like a. You know, that's what I'm saying. I kind of like that one. Kind of. Oh, like you a, like that one? Kind of like a gay Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I bat no, I just thought it'd be cool to have like Stop in the background. It. Just all, it's like the eye would immediately go to it's like what the fuck's that about? It's like you don't want to know about that story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I was it's uh to me it's it's oh, fuck it's barely fuckable like I I, 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 I I don't think it's bad I don't think it sucks my butt but it's 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 right it's barely on that line yeah it wasn't it wasn't really impressive it wasn't super entertaining there was no controversy it didn't have sex appeal for me but I guess I mean obviously I'm not the target audience but like Shakira at least had sex appeal right yeah, Jennifer right. Lopez uh well actually I don't yeah Eminem, uh, yeah I, mean, I definitely would fuck him and 50 cent together same time to call it a, a feature what was the um, controversy with 50 cent? it was because he had man tits or some shit i think that was the controversy like he had man titties i think there was a and I was like, yeah i don't, I don't know. know who cares he's like 100 years old fuck it and he also Dude. survived being shot thirty-seven thousand dollars. he could still beat my ass like i know that um but yeah as far as you guys say uh the usher halftime show gets a fuckable 35 percent say fuckable 26 percent say pretty rad 28 percent though in second place say it sucks my butt steve Ooh. and 11 percent really enjoyed it and says it almost touches the sun did you uh did you hear what ryan reynolds you know blake lively's friends with um taylor swift yeah Really yeah, tweeted it out. He's like, "Did you guys see my commercial? Where's my wife?" <laughs> <laughs> well, because she, they can't like. Yeah, uh, he Blake, couldn't find her. Well, Blake Lively was hanging out right In next to Taylor Swift, so yeah. every time they would show Taylor Swift, Blake Lively was there, but you couldn't see Ryan Reynolds. Well, anywhere. I think Ryan Reynolds wasn't in the booth. Oh, okay, that must have been it. Yeah, like, I think he was like looking for his wife, so he tweeted it out. He's like, "You guys see my wife?" That's fucking hilarious. Um. So yeah, fuckables with that ghost right next to the Arnold State like commercial. Said, have you, have you guys see my commercial? <laughs> <laughs> um, my commercial. All right, so we're caught up on the votes. We're caught up on the votes. We're caught up on the God votes. Damn, is it I'll raining hard at your house? Dick. Yeah, I can I can hear it raining in your yeah. fucking. In this my shit's earphones. supposed to switch over to snow, which I hope is not. That's Dude, I think that shit's a lie. They're just trying to sell advertisement spots on WKYT and shit. Like every time the every time the weather's like huge fucking storm coming i'm like i don't believe it i don't believe it and i wake up and i'm like stoned and i'm like God another lie of the mainstream media ladies yeah. and gentlemen exactly hey i got pp pp right. you gotta go pp um we are at uh 926 with good old frankenstein studio all right all right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay i got you all right, Frankenstein Studio, thanks so much, dude. He says, uh, the guy who says, I love this part is Pyro from X2 and X3. Oh, for real? That's cool. The Fox characters had their timeline pruned, and they're in the void at the end of the time from Loki Mad Max. Style. Cool, okay. 20th Century Fox logo is in the background, too. Holy shit, Frankenstein. You've got a keen eye. You've got that Monopoly mon monocle. I didn't pick up any of that shit, but that's badass. That's cool as fuck. I also didn't watch Loki beyond the season one, so I'm not really caught up on everything. I just knew that that looked like the nexus of time thing that he was working at. But that's badass, dude. Good picks. Good stuff. Good eye. Good eye. Uh, DJ Graham. Um, okay, so I'll let Mike answer that one's from Mike. Uh, Gary says, I think he says, the rumor is he tries to recruit normal movie Wolverine, Old Man Logan, Patch, and they all say no, but classic 90s yellow and blue Wolverine agrees. That's fucking cool, man. That's badass, dude. If that's true, I don't know. 
But yeah, that, that actually does make sense for a Deadpool movie where he gets like rejected over and over again for all the ones that he actually thinks are cool. And then he gets like the fucking da -da 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 uh, animated type of uh, Wolverine. I wonder if they're going to play that uh, that um, music. I hope so. Uh, Gary also says the Optimus popcorn bucket is cool. It's a toy truck. The cabin holds the drink. The trailer holds popcorn and the two straws are the exhaust pipes on the roof. Holy shit, that sounds so fucking complicated that you got to take that apart to eat your popcorn. <laughs> it's like, can I just get a fucking bucket? No, 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 you got to transform this shit and then you can eat your popcorn. Well, now I don't want it. Now it's all cold and soggy and shit. Just like my wiener, what? But yeah, okay, that's cool. It sounds great though. Aaron Ramon says, uh, what would Dr. Loomis say to Michael if he was in the trailer of Twisters? God damn you, Michael. Uh, he would say, quick, Michael, jump in and see how windy it is. I heard that Lori's in there. You should go. Because Michael's stupid. He would probably do it. That's what I said. I said, Michael, I see Lori. She's inside that sweaty thing. You should go in there. See if you can see her. And then it would go. And then it would go away forever. To the land of arts. Uh, Robin Barker, thank you, dude, uh, says, um, thank you. Kelsey's screaming to Andy Reid. Uh, movies don't create cycles. Movies, <laughs> movies make cycles more creative. Dude, I know he memed himself so fucking hard. I've seen a shit ton of memes coming out after that photo. It was great. Uh, Christopher Sands, hey, Chris, says, I'm looking forward to Taylor Swift's acceptance speech at the ESPYs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what happens. I don't know. The ESPYs. I know, dude. Uh, Lisa Serial, thank you so much. I might be biased, but the full length elf judge beauty commercial is pretty great. I haven't seen it. I don't know. I don't know, Lisa. Is it great? We're gonna watch some more, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So it might be great. Uh, Camelot Films, JJ on the dollar. If down, let me know how to get to you. What, what, J on the dollar? <laughs> I don't know what you mean, dude. I might be stupid. I don't know. I'm not drinking right now. So the soberness is making me like blurred vision. <laughs> I have to ask. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what that means. Uh, Gary says also, so the Secret Wars comic in the Deadpool 3 trailer is next to one of those bottles Edward Norton Hulk infected. Holy shit. You guys are like goddamn Dick Tracy's over here. That's so, you're so much better at this than we are. Well, I didn't know. Any, I didn't see any of this stuff. Now, granted, I was trying to push a boner down at the same time, much like Mike was doing, but holy, I didn't know any of that. That's incredible. Edward Norton's oh, that's so cool. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of cameos in that, so I'm excited to see who. I wonder if they're going to get old Edward Norton to come in. I don't know, because I think he ended it. I don't. I thought he had a pretty bad falling out with Marvel Studios after what with what happened with The Incredible Hulk. Could be wrong about that, but you know, it's money. Money does things. Um, and we're caught up. Yay! D. Mitch says, Jay, did you download the FF7 Rebirth demo? I got my pre-order. Fuck yeah, dude, I did. Holy shit, I've been playing the fuck out of it. I played it and I was pissed because it was like it ended so fast, just much like my sex. But I was I was still like, I liked what I saw so far. It, the hero of, or was it the hero of Nibelheim? I don't know. Really good. Can't wait for the, uh, when they're going to release more of the demo. And I've got mine pre-ordered as well. <laughs> don't act like you're special because you're not the only one that did that. I did it as well, D. Mitch. Frankenstein Studio says, my favorite Kelsey uh, meme is that Tony Stark was able to build this the game with a box of scraps. Even as a shame. <laughs> yeah, dude. Every time that line pops up, you can't, you have to say it in that way. Tony Stark was able to, I, it's like, he's like, oh. but yeah, dude, that's great. Tomo Ogoto says, Jay, important question is Tifa or Aerith. I will not answer that question. That question will literally get you crucified, dragged through the streets of Cyan and put on fire somewhere in a stake. Tifa. But I didn't say that out loud. But I, that's who I picked, people. I'm just saying, okay, listen. The reason why, and I know the fandom goes crazy with this shit, okay? But Aerith is great, and she's an awesome character. And she's not just like, you know, she can, she's not like one-dimensional, even though she starts out that way. She's got a lot of sides to her. She's like an onion. You got to pull back the layers, just like Shrek. But she's Zack's girl. I mean, that's just what it is. You don't go into another man's Kool-Aid. And, and apparently, I'm not getting into the, the you know, because if you guys don't know what I'm talking about with Zack, for the FF7 fans here, there might be something with that going on in the time. I don't know. But it's Tifa. Tifa's always been his girl. And I won't work no arguments about it. All right. Tifa's hotter. She is. And she's also been and had his back. Even when he was going fucking cool, cool, fuck all cool pops. Cloud was. She still had his back. Aerith was just like, oh, here's the hot guy with blue eyes. I want to fuck him because Zach might be dead. No, Tifa's like, my man's crazy, but I love my man. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I was talking about, <laughs> I was talking about Final Fantasy VII. 
Oh, <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is uh, Tifa, man? No, she sounds like a bitch. She's hot. No, she's hot. Oh. Uh, there was a uh, there was something up here. Uh, okay, DJ Graham and nine twenty seven has something specific for you. Okay, uh, that old se- oh yeah, the old sex people scene in uh, X maybe want to rip my eyes out, and that still shot of Pearl smiling into the camera while the end credits rolls sh- shivers up my fucking spine. When does Maxine get released? I don't believe Maxine has a release date yet. I think a lot of people were hoping there would be a Super Bowl spot for it. There was not. There was also no Alien Rhymeless, which was a huge bummer. I was hoping for that. Uh, but yeah, dude, I've seen the sex scene now four times, and um, you know it never it never gets less fucking scarring. Um, you By the way, that, dude, right, for Max? Yeah, everybody in this fucking chat are goddamn scholars of vision because they picked out stuff from that Deadpool trailer that there's they should be doing what we're doing. Like they are like, holy shit, like like go go gadget magnifying glasses. Like they've got everything. <laughs> like they, dude, yeah, they, they awesome. the, uh, uh, Gary was saying the Secret Wars comic book, like right next to it is the like I think he was saying the syringe or something that Edward Norton's Hulk was using. Oh fuck, that's cool, dude. There's gonna be so much. And then shit, I think, and he also said something like. Which I don't know if this, I mean, the rumor was, I guess, but we don't know. I mean, it makes sense for the Deadpool movie that Deadpool's going to try to go around like getting different versions of Wolverine, like Old Man Logan, uh, Wolverine from the 20th, Wolverine from the 20th Century Fox, and another version of Wolverine. But the only one that says yes to him is the, it's the fucking, the, 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 <laughs> that's the, awesome though. No, I, I, that would totally make sense. And I was like, I hope to God they play the fucking, they've got to play, I hope when it comes on screen, you hear like that, like, you know, like the animated Dude. cartoon intro. And that's going to like, gonna... am I the only one that hears this as well? <laughs> <laughs> that's going to give Hugh Jackman so much like acting stuff to chew on, you know, like playing different vo- versions of Wolverine throughout the timeline. That dude, I cannot. I'm so, I'm so, no, I'm yeah, so well, yeah, yeah. So it, it looks incredible, but it does. And like I said, we were like, we were like going watching it, but we all we were tr- trying to control our, our boners. But yeah, if you if you sat down and broke down each segment of that trailer, I'm sure you'd pick out a lot of cool things about it. Yeah, they were dry- seemed- oh, and he also said py- uh, he said Pyro from X Men Two and Three from the original X Men Two or Three was in it. He was like the one that said uh, this be a good time or something like that. It was Pyro, and he said uh, if you I- also look closer, you could see the old 20th Century Fox logo. I saw that like behind him when he was laying back, yeah. like it had landed in the ground or whatever. Because they, yeah, they, dude, there's gonna be so much shit in that. I, I haven't like watched. Obviously, that was the first time we've watched it, so I'm sure we. I don't want to watch. I don't. That's one of the movies I really, I really want to be shocked when i go and see it i want to like go and see it like i know that's not possible in today's world with the internets and things like that but uh, yeah i want to like go in and just be like totally blown away by all the reveals and cameos that happen i'm also I- i'm really hoping honestly like i think it's enough by itself like just fucking deadpool and wolverine hugh jackman and ron reynolds together on screen like buddy cop type film is enough in itself i i the only thing I'm worried about with that movie is that they're going to weigh it down too much with stuff from the multiverse and like Easter eggs and shit like that. Like, I just don't feel like that story even needs all that shit. You know, like, I feel like it'd just be good on its own. It's just like an action comedy. Well, but I think, I think they, they, they saw how well, um, uh, Spider-Man no way home did. Mm-hmm. And with all the cameos and shit and that, and it was like a huge emotional blockbuster thing for them. So they were like, yeah, we'll just throw in some other stuff. I mean, and also it's going to give like the nod to like people's past franchises, like that did love the 20th Century Fox X Men movies. Yeah, and it could be like the that. best of both. Maybe they do a really good job with it. What if James Marsden you know, will show up? The one fucking the Cyclops actor that never got his up come up and he would have be been one of, he would have been one of the best Cyclopses if they had given him an actual fucking script to work off of. 100 percent dude yeah they fucked him in those movies but i still love those movies they were all still really good that all right now i've got to go tickle me with or enjoy time hey what time stamp did you end up at by the way uh i caught up okay cool cool cool, cool. Uh, no, hold on no i let me see there were some <sighs> uh yeah i caught up yeah i was caught up nice nice and uh b- by the way that the last shot of pearl dude like i really thought me a goth and i'm not like there's some people that are weird about Mia Goth, right? They're like, oh man, I just want to fucking taste her bath water. And I'm like, all right, she's a good actress and she was really great in Pearl. But I thought she could have gotten an Oscar nomination for that. I really did. I thought it was that great. The Oscars are such fucking bullshit, man. The Oscars, the whole fucking thing is just a bunch of caca, maybe fucking bullshit. But I thought her performance in Pearl was good enough to at least get a nomination. And like that last shot when she's like, uh, 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 I was fucking that. Uh, that blew me away too, man. Uh, to answer your questionos. So, um, yeah, I agree with you. By the way, movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. Uh, 
God, Kelsey's such a douchebag. And it's a good point, too, dude. If that was Antonio Brown, if that was somebody else doing that's their coach, the whole world would be on fire. They'd be demanding he be cut. He shouldn't be in the league anymore. But because it was Kelsey and the Taylor Swift thing and because they won, if the Chiefs lost that fucking football game, I'm telling you, man, everything would be on fire right now. Kels would have came out and probably done done what Kanye did to Taylor Swift. The other team would have been on the microphone. He probably would have barged in and been like, that's just bullshit. I really think that that guy is going to show his fucking ass as soon as things don't go perfectly for him. We're going to see. To me, he just seems like a terrible human being. That's just, that's just maybe just my meter reads. We'll see what happens with it. Um, we'll see what fucking happens for sure. Oh my God. I'm having so much fun. I'm so ha happy you guys are here. This is a, this is a great time. We're caught up right now for the Super Bowl trailers and stuff, but there is one we got to watch. We got to watch the Ben Affleck one. Um, I thought that was going to be funnier because Ben Affleck's so funny in those Dunkin' Donuts commercials. It didn't really do it for me, but, um, it was still pretty funny. We'll watch it together and we'll see how we feel about it. <laughs> Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a box of scraps. <laughs> Such a great line. I miss those days of Marvel, man. I hope Deadpool 3 brings him back. I really do. D Mitch, fucking Phoenix TX. Phoebe Cates is a great song. I can hear it in my head right now. Uh, my favorite Phoenix TX song ever is $26, The Keys to a Cadillac. It's a fucking amazing song. That band was so underrated. Uh, they should have they should have gotten more love for sure, man. Um, but yeah, so I I don't know, man. Like is it me or did like the Super Bowl trailers just not really do it? Like I thought kind of maybe I just missed some and I would come in here and you guys would be like, hey, no, this one was great. And we'd watch them. How disappointing was the Jenna Ortega commercial? Like, I'm just going to go ahead and do it right now. Like, I'm going to go ahead and put this on there so we can add some more stuff to the thing. But I thought the Jenna Ortega Doritos commercial was fucking atrocious. Like, not because of her, but uh, Ortega Doritos. Um, what even was that? Like, I'm just putting that right in Steve's asshole because it's lonely. But you got Jenna Ortega, like one of the hottest fucking stars in the world right now. And like, you're going to do that. That was lame as shit, man. And the seven Timu commercials and the eight fucking Jesus commercials. Uh, yeah, the, the commercials kind of fucking sucked, man. That was, a, that was kind of a bummer for sure. Um, I'm looking forward to next year's. Next year's is going to be in New Orleans, so I think shit's going to get kind of wild and crazy, kids. With that, uh, it did make Stacy want to buy Doritos or Ray Doritos or however you want to put it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll do that when Jay gets back, Frankenstein's for sure. Uh, but yeah, they. Oh, dude, that, you're right, Kyle. The Christopher Walken one was good. When I was like, "Why don't you park my car?" <laughs> that was good. The Christopher Walken one was good. I I, I will give that one to you. Maybe we'll, if we get time, we'll, we'll watch that one tonight as well. Uh, there's one I'm going to show you guys when Jay gets back. And I feel like this was the worst fucking commercial, not only of the Super Bowl, but the worst commercial I've ever seen in my entire fucking adult life. And that was the fire country commercial. Did you guys see this? This dude comes out in a tank top and CB CBS is trying to promote their shows. They didn't even show like half the post game shit. They just went straight to that shitty tracker fucking show or whatever. But, uh, yeah, CBS <sighs> just dropped the fucking ball on that shit. Um, Jay, what? I was just telling him about this. I'm going to show it to you now. This is the fucking worst trailer or commercial I've ever fucking seen, man. And they did this. For, they did this during the Super Bowl. Okay. For have you ever heard of that show, Fire Country? No. It sounds like something. It sounds like uh, like a product that you'd buy to like light your uh, stove, like you know, like <laughs> like the sticks that you. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking? I, I don't know yeah. what they're called. Fire sticks. I don't know. So you're good then. Then you're right there with the rest of the country who's never heard of this show. Uh, anybody that's over the under the age of 97, um, dude, this is so bad. What dude, is, this it, is, is it a show? Uh, it's a show called Fire Country. It's about like a bunch of firefighters who work in the oh, country. Is Chuck Norris um, the, the marshal? It'd be way better if he was. Yeah. But um, watch this shit, dude. Dude, this came on like the game was like <laughs> really good at this point, right? The game was yeah. close. Shit was going down. And you're excited, and CBS throws this fucking commercial, dude. Oh god. Here we go. Fire country. What happens out there today will shape the rest of your life. Remember what it took to get here. Because every time you suit up, it could be the last chance you'll ever get to lay it all on the line. <laughs> so who's he talking to? Next to you. And for the person next to you. Oh, me? He remembered as someone who faced the fire and never flinched. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. 
<laughs> Hell yeah, so dude. Serious. I'm, that's it. I'm renewing it's my so Paramount serious. Plus. I'm I'm renewing my Paramount Plus to watch that guy. It was captivating. Holy shit, dude. I want to go fucking. I want to. I don't know what he was doing in those <laughs> videos. He was just running in the forest and shit and, and carrying damsels in distress. And he's oh. Jack, fucking. You know, he's got like he he never missed gym day. Fuck yeah, dude. He I actually looked, it, it looked like it looked like he was, dude. I swear to God, it looked like he was cutting a promo for like old school, like mid 90s WWF. Dude, There's people that out there so that say awesome. that legends can't be made. Well, they're wrong. Because I stand before you right now, a made legend. Because I didn't give up like everybody else behind me. The room is full of empty lockers because those guys threw in the towel. Not this guy. Come and find out if you got what it takes. Next Sunday, be there. Dude, they could have literally thrown out, like, it, like you could have thrown out Al Pacino and he could have done his any given Sunday, like, life is a game of inches! Uh, but they get this guy's like, as a man who stood next to another man and faced the fire, it never gave up. It's like, you're wearing a wife beater in a fucking locker room. What is this shit? I literally didn't know. I thought, I, if I didn't know what it was about, I thought, I would have thought it was like a guy having, like, PTSD from the war. And like talking to his platoon because it was like it looked like war time on a screen that he was watching, and then he just like was snapping and he was like a sergeant talking to his platoon. Dude, what fucking human being? Like, honestly, what is it about? So it's just about firefighters. It's about firefighters, and it's not like a true story or anything. It's just like a show about like just just I, I just gotta do it one more time. Like just what happens just... out there today <laughs> will shape the rest of your life. Yeah, they're trying to tie it into football. Right, like oh, he's try oh, they're trying to tie yeah. it into what it's like to be on the field. Remember what it took to get here, because every time you suit up, could be the last chance you'll ever get to lay it all on the line, to fight with the person next to you, mm. the person next to you, yeah. to be remembered as someone yeah. who faced the fire and never flinched. Never. He's gonna cry. Never flinch. Never, never flinch, dog. Never flinch. I love to do that. That was inspiration right there. I'd play if I if if I was the 49ers, I'd have played that in the locker room. <laughs> Got everybody high stop. We might have won. Dude, Clinton's right. Like if, if Dennis Leary from Rescue Me saw this, he would have kicked in the door and we would beat the shit out of that guy. I you know, I, like and I don't know the actor. Like, you know, it might be his first big role and good. It's not know, his kudos, fault. Yeah, kudos yeah. to him. It was just the writing. But I don't like when if I was a director, when they do like this, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like, dude, you look like you're getting ready to drop the hottest LP in 2024 when you do shit like that. Just like it, it looks so, it, it looks so oh. fake and 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 telegraphed when you do it. So what I'm saying is, basically, we gotta come together and fight these fucking flames. Because if we don't, then we got no force left. And if we got no force left, we got no more oxygen. Do you have what it takes? The face to fire, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you. Dude, I guarantee like, you, I, every I firefighter in the world like rolled their eyes so fucking hard when they saw that corny ass shit. Well, I like, watched. I never even watched the Rescue Me, but it looked a hundred times better than what that that was. That looked like yeah. fucking Walker, Texas Ranger from Team U. Yeah, <laughs> we don't even have to put that one in the rank because it's definitely a it sucks my butt, Steve. But there was a good one that we were talking about uh, while you're peeing, and um, you'll you'll enjoy this one, dude. This one's good. Uh, oh, face the fire! <laughs> face you face the, the fire, fire, you never give up. Never say die. I an eagle. That's right. It's the real deal. 100%. Electric. It's the real <laughs> deal. Uh-oh. He's like, yeah. <laughs> of course. Enjoy your coffee. It's hot. Nice. Your dog's so cute. Mm, yeah. Ooh, so adorable. Yeah, wow. Yeah, right. We both know. It's the man. It's the <laughs> You know, you look nice. Okay. With that? <laughs> you know that's how he gets out of his car, dude. dude that, you know 100% that, that's how he gets out of his car. The hotel lobby looks like the, the lobby that they did Fat Boy Slim in when he danced. Oh, it does. Weapon of choice. <laughs> but tell me, dude, you know you know this is exactly what Christopher Walken... You know he's like this in real life. With that? I, that's how he gets out of the shower. Oh, Mr. Walken, <laughs> does this table work for you? Yeah. Yeah. Did someone say yeah? Oh, look, it's the man of the hour. Someone to pee? Yeah. Yeah, Usher kind of ruined it. But there's only one Christopher. <laughs> the rest of oh, the they both can dance. I guess that's the whole idea. 
Yeah, it's like, don't you have somewhere to be? But he's like, oh, yeah, I have the Super Bowl halftime show. <laughs> that, yeah. that was corny. But the rest of the legend. So anything he's in is always good. Yeah, dude. I love fucking Chris. And th- that actually, a couple of those uh, interpreters were or not interpreters, but a couple of those impersonators were pretty good. He's like, be careful with your coffee. It's hot. Yeah. That was pretty good. Um, the show, like, we got Cody in there. Guys, like, you wouldn't know what to say. Like, if you were a valet for him and it was Christopher, Wall, I was like, hey, it was a nice car, man. He's like, yeah, it is. It's a nice car. And he goes, he like, it's and, electric. And he was like, look at you and, and say it like that. And you're like, I know. That's why I said it was a nice car. <laughs> anyway, can you, yeah. I don't know what it's, to do now. It's you make, I feel like Christopher Walken would like, would like be like, it's like, I feel like you'd feel uncomfortable, even though he's not meaning for you to feel uncomfortable. But it's the same thing with like, I feel like having a conversation with Jeff Goldblum would be like, yeah, like he, just he was weird. there too. Yeah. Jeff Goldblum was there. Um, Taylor Paulson says his name was Robert Paulson. He says, uh, I Casey is in the chats. Give her a shout out. Who's I Casey? I don't know. I Casey. Is that a person? To, uh, hi, I Casey. Hello. Hi. Are you famous? Is that what's going on here? Austin said, rank my favorite movie ending. The end of the original Mortal Kombat, it really has everything. Uh, oh, rank it on the actual board? What does that have anything to do with the Super Bowl, I mean, Austin? If I, if I, I put it, I, I think the ending of, of the original Mortal Kombat with Robin Shu and Christopher Lambert, I do like that movie pretty well overall. And, and the ending is a pretty, the Shao Kahn is like, you weak, pathetic fool. <laughs> Your soul's are, he goes, I don't think so. That was still, it was corny as fuck, but it fit the, the universe. I'd probably give it, um, what's the second above? It's not all timer, but it's the one below it. I'd give it that. Pretty rad. Pretty yeah, rad. I, I, or no, not no, pretty rad. No. It's just the sun. Almost almost, I feel like, uh, yeah, just, be, just because I feel like that Mortal Kombat movie, despite it being corny and a, and a product of its time, it actually captured the feel of the actual Mortal Kombat game more than any other movie has done yeah. since. I, I, I'd go right there with you, man. I fucking love uh, 95. I think it was 95. Mortal Kombat. That movie yeah. fucking ruled. What have you I done? Pay- He's like, because this is our turn. Remember, we fight it. At least finally one of them has learned. <laughs> I love it, dude. A deal's a deal. It holds no candle to Annihilation, which is the single greatest film that's ever been made. Everyone knows that. Um, everyone knows that. But I, I can smell a perfume. <laughs> you guys see the Ghostbusters popcorn bucket? Uh, rewind a little bit. We showed it. We talked about it. It's fucking amazing, dude. Uh, we were both very excited. Dude, I've never seen that movie in theater, dude. And the coolest part of that fucking 95 Mortal Kombat movie was Reptile. The reptile entrance, like, because mm-hmm. I didn't, I, you had that really cheap C, uh, CGI. And I'm like, fuck, dude, that's all you're going to get when the Robin Shoe is in Outworld and he throws him into that statue and you hear that reptile. And you go, oh, God, dude, that was fucking sick. Yeah, I did love that. I love that whole fucking movie, though, man. That movie is so good. It's underrated as shit. I mean, it's bad, but it's also great. Yeah. And sorry, Taylor, we, we missed this one when we read the last one. He said, gentlemen, I met my first wham friend friend in the last, wham fam friend in the last stream. Her name is Casey. Me oh. Casey. Uh, there's a Menzinger song called Casey. You should look it up and you should think about your friend when you listen to it. Uh, and I'm pretty sure she's from outside Milwaukee. Milwaukee. I'm from central Wisconsin. And we added each other on the book of faces. Hey, all right. Get nice. Up! Dude. Nice. Hope you guys become best friends forever. That's what I call a shared moment. Put it together. Slap it on. Wear it to the party tonight. I don't know where I'm I, going. I, 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 yeah. I would love to add all of you on, on the spaces of my, but nobody's – it's weird. It's like a ghost town on there anymore. Yeah, Jake just can't get people on. Oh, I haven't seen this, so we'll have to watch this uh, together because I, I missed this one. My buddy was talking about it, and I was like, dude, did you see fucking Creed? I'm like, no, I had no idea. Uh-huh. But there's a Creed commercial. Uh, and Are they doing so Creed, it? Creed never played the halftime Super Bowl. A lot of people think that was a Super Bowl. No, I know. Creed played the halftime of a Packers Dallas game, and it was the most beautiful, serene halftime performance of all fucking time. Um, I wish they should let Creed do it, or Blink One Eighty Two would be amazing. Um, well, they see. can't because they're afraid that Scott Stapp would see some angel in the in the fucking stadium and like fly, like just run off stage and chase it for a year. <laughs> uh, it's not on here anywhere. Like it's not on the internet. Oh wait, here we go. Fifteen hours ago. No, it's the ten best. Um. Maybe you haven't been uploaded yet. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there is the Creed version on here. Creed, Super Bowl ad, Paramount Plus. I'm a slut. Uh, that one's from 11 days ago. Dude, I got, no I don't, it. you know, like sometimes you look on Quora and like you like look up like weird like topics or whatever. And then, but you then you constantly get like hit with emails about the bullshit that I don't want to read. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just, like I, it's like, do ghosts see you? If you see a ghost to go see you back, and like, and then, and I'm getting shit like this because I looked up one time about ghosts, and now I'm getting all fucking ghost stuff, and it makes me want to read them, and I get scared at night. So, 
<laughs> I don't know if this is the same. No, that one, that one can't be. It's not actually, it's not on the internet, dude. I would look it up and find it, but it's not there. Cold. We'll just have I'm to use so our imaginations. Maybe it'll be up by the next stream and we'll watch it then for sure. Uh, but dude, Cork pisses me off. I'm right there with you. I get the same emails and someone's like, I found my kids smoking weed, so I murdered them in their sleep. Is that all right? And you're like, yeah. what? And then yeah, like, I and I know that some people have said that core like it's some of it's made by like edge lords uh, like uh, college kids they'll they'll like write something inflammatory just to get responses and they're doing it sometimes for college like uh, research just to yeah. get what this to like get the tone of people but yeah dude I, I get some fucking wild ones like it's like if I fart in the afterlife do they hear me do the, do the <laughs> people alive hear me uh, can but, they smell it yeah can they smell it or like whatever and like people are literally answering it's like uh based on the ndes that i've covered and uh <laughs> talked about uh it, there seems to be no smell in the afterlife so you can <laughs> fart to your heart's content but then again you're a spirit so you can't really fart yeah i do i hate quirk because it's so hard to read like you'll get the you'll get the question you'll try to find the answers and then it'll ask you like seven other questions and it's so yeah. frustrating Quora, it's like I, terribly put together i hate using i i don't like core at all i don't even know why i i, I signed up for it because reddit's way better because probably like you're like me you were googling whether or not like because you farted hard you had butt cancer uh one day yeah i stubbed my toe and i was like does my toenail have cancer now yeah, that's basically that's that's how I found it. I know that. Danny Darby says, "What's your thoughts on Oz Perkins' Long Legs? It's my most anticipated horror movie of the year. Nick Cage looks super creepy as a serial killer. Dude, I'm so fucking pumped for that movie. Perkins Long Legs. I don't know. I don't think I've seen anything on it. Uh, it's uh, so Oz Perkins, son of Anthony Perkins, is directing it. It's a twenty four. They've barely put out anything for it. They've been like masterful in their marketing for it, but." Uh, Nicholas Cage plays a serial killer and uh uh long legs Micah yeah I can't I don't know <laughs> if his name is long legs, legs or not uh Micah keeps Monroe. getting away from us why because he's fast he's got long legs <laughs> <laughs> he keeps running away a uh, Micah Monroe's the FBI agent chasing him down but it sounds super creepy and like Nick Cage is a serial killer is like that's a fucking must see by itself uh I'm super pumped for it I'm getting ready to do deep dive into it myself dude I cannot fucking that's that's if I knew known about that, that'd be on my top ten most anticipated. Wait, for is sure. that the first time to be fair? Like it might be Nicholas Cage because he, remember he was a bad guy in Face Off, but then he wasn't. Right. Yeah, so and, technically a serial killer, but like not really. But but then Face he was badass. Like when you got to see him as a bad guy, it was great. And then I was like, mm -hmm. they switched it. Now he's the hero, and Travolta's the bad guy. So is this yeah. the first time Nick Cage has been full on bad guy? Maybe. Uh, he just did a movie called um, something. The devil may hear you speak or something. I can't remember, but. It was fine. He was a bad guy in that, but yeah, no, no one uh, near this I don't, level. I don't believe that came out in America. So, <laughs> it, no. was, it was, yeah, it was only on like VOD. Yeah, it only came um, out in like Egypt, so it doesn't. <laughs> uh, Frankenstein Studio. This is when you were gone, by the way. I forgot about it. Frankenstein Studio said, "Can Wahlberg and Slenderman argue over which will be better, Twisters or Deadpool 3? Um, well, they, how do you? What if they both like them both? It's, it's, it's there. They, or they I, agree on the same one. I, I'll just pick. I'll just pick what I think Mark Wahlberg would be most excited about, and uh, that okay. would be uh, that would be Twister. Say, uh, Twisters is no doubt going to be the better fucking movie. Have you ever seen a fucking tornado in the sky? A tornado in the sky looks like me when I'm coming down from my apartment complex looking for Nicole, and a dad shows up in his fucking red Corvette, and I say, "Where the fuck is Nicole? I got a tattooed on my chest, Nicole forever. I'm going to find her. I'm going to outrun the fucking wind, and I'm going to fucking find her. There's no tornado in this world that's going to fucking stop me, and that's why I think that Twisters is the better movie trailer." Yeah, well, you know, you you make strong points. Me must say, Wilberg, and me will say I'm so strong. that might be true. You have a lot of working out with Puerto Ricans, me here. That's gross. <laughs> you open up gym with you. Um, so in the world, the reason why me picked their poo three is it looks so fun and funny. It's like a comic book character come laugh. It's also about friendship, which is very potent in today's world. You know what? We may not be the same, and we might have different ideologies, things like that, but we can come together and save the world. Over there on Twister, that's too much like real life, you know. You see a Twister in real life, you could die. Child, you could go away forever. We don't want that. You should not celebrate that. You know what I mean? Like, it's nature's fury. Look away at a distance and in jail. But don't celebrate it. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, for Thanks. Hey, Holly. How's it going? Uh, okay, so we got to rake a couple things real quick. Uh, we do have to do that uh what uh, are we missing anything bid uh oh it is the one from 11 days ago thank you Haley. okay so we will watch that let's take a look at that real quick um dude 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 i was gonna i, I, I don't know why this just came to me dude i, I was i was uh, watching a stream on i because i'm not i i beat a game and, and then sometimes i i go and i'll watch someone else like that had played it and watch their reaction 
because I want to see if they have the same reaction that I have when the, the ending or whatever. And uh, in Final Fantasy 16, like there's a one romantic scene where the main character is like giving a kiss to the girl and like he's going to go off and, and save the world, but he's probably not going to come back. And dude, the guy's Twitch chat was fucking hilarious, dude. That's the one thing I wish that we had on YouTube is like the emojis because it, it, that shit was so fucking hilarious because somebody was like, uh, he's like, come on, bitch, give me a kiss. My man's are waiting because <laughs> the guy, like the protagonist, had like a, his boys waiting on him to get on the dragon so they could go fight the bad guy. And he's like, give me a kiss, bitch. My man's are waiting. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Was, I don't know why that just popped in my head, dude. But the emojis are fucking hilarious, anyway. Yeah, I wish they would do that. Okay, so I got. All right, hang on. Oh, shit, sorry, I was pulling this up at the same time. Uh, here is the Paramount Creed ad. On the mountain, the mountain. He went, oh, oh I, yeah, yeah. this is old, isn't it? Uh -uh. Football. 11 days ago. Oh, okay. They've done it. They've done something like this before. Football shaped head. <laughs> we throw the child. Gutsy call, sir. Smart thinking. What? No, that's that <laughs> Reno not one of them right, shorts. Arnold. Good. I always do horrible things as you're very more. Hey, do you want an immunity idol? What? You can't. Throw a child at a wall. Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you to that. Captain Picard. I'm not gonna throw a kid. How dare you? Not built for the moment, I see. Fine. I'll throw him. Oh, some old school 1800s style. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. Creeps here. Watch and learn. Dang, it's cool. It's something for time. And we need a hole in one before the seventh inning stretch. <laughs> hey, brave. The <laughs> <laughs> That's so good, dude. School place. <laughs> Cortana. <laughs> it's beautiful. I just threw him high. <laughs> Oh my gosh. To a place where we won't. <laughs> yeah, dude. Show that tramp stamp off, bitch. <laughs> oh, I didn't make it. So close. How are we going to get up there? Now, if there were only someone made of pigskin. Think of. Oh, <laughs> it's got dude, that's great, dude. That was that was the, and, that maybe the there, best one. Like, obviously, Scott Stapp's voice is incredible, and like seeing him again, you get all that nostalgia for all that for, from that time. But dude, I just wish he, I wish for that commercial, where, like he would have had like a wig on for his long hair. It was iconic. It, it was just as iconic with his fucking voice. Yeah, there's but, something, yeah. dude. There's something underrated about Creed. Like we all joke about it, and that's like I think it started as like we love Creed, ironically. But like I, there's uh. Like where I play volleyball out, there's somebody that every single time we're there, they just they they play Creed songs on the jukebox. And when you're sitting there and you hear that, dun, 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 you get a fucking feel it inside of you, and you're like, I I think I actually just deeply love this. Like I don't think it's a joke anymore. Like Wait, if I, I I'm not gonna lie, Creed. if I get if I if I played football and I was the quarterback and I was trying to hype my team up, I'd be like, all we need is one chance, one, oh one. <laughs> I love that song, but yeah, I, I would have, and then that's that's what I would have it on my head. Like I would even have like you know how quarterbacks have to like be listening to the coach. I would just have earbuds in listening to Creed, and I would be <laughs> I making up my plays as I go. I told it to my kids the other day. They were they were being shitty. They were being bratty with each other in the back seat of the car, or taking them to get a haircut, and they were fighting and shit. I'm like, all right, that's it. You're not listening. I'm, I'm, this is your punishment. I was like, you're listening to Creed the entire ride because it was like 40 minutes to the haircut place. Yeah, and I, I I fucking threw on Creed. I made him listen to fucking one. I made him listen to uh uh with the arms wide open. I was like, this song's about him having a kid for the first time, and they're yeah. like just dying. I'm like, no, it's great. You should have turned around and had like you should have had a tear in your eye. It's about when he had a child. <laughs> you know, you, know, you should have also with with uh. If one of your kids get in trouble at school, you should have them come in and be like, "Court is in session, <laughs> verdict is in." I'm dun, 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 dun. No appeal on the doctor today, today, but my just own my sin. sin. <laughs> <laughs> I love fucking Creed. Uh, Guardian does say that he met Scott Stapp. He's an asshole. I heard. I heard uh, he is. It's possible. That's definitely depending on what era of Scott Stapp you met him at. I, I heard he. Um, I think he's. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I know that he was a really big terror back. Well, like in the early days 
Yeah, I just know that alcohol is a depressant. So, like, when you're sitting somewhere and your four whiskeys are old fashioned deep, and like all of a sudden, banging my head on a Sunday morning, banging, you like, you feel that shit on a cellular level. Uh, I'm going to put that, dude, I think that commercial was an all timer person. Yeah, I, well, I also heard that um, <clears throat> the lead singer of uh, Third Eye Blind is an asshole. Oh, he is an asshole. I heard yeah. everybody was pretty much on board with saying he was a prick. There are so many stories about Stephen Jenkins. Uh, so we're, we have no qualms with sticking the Creed commercial in the all timer. What else did we see? Oh, Fire Country. We we that there's yeah. no disagreeing that that's get on down there and put the fire in Steve's butt. Yeah, that's one of the worst commercials of all time. If there was a lower fire. tier than Steve's assholes, it would go down there. Could have saved it though if it was Scott Stapp playing in the background. It might have just saved it. It would have at least put it into fuckable territory. Yeah. Uh, where do you where do you put the walking commercial? I mean, it was fine. I put it pretty rad. I think Usher really was like it was noticeable. Like he just didn't. It felt like weird that he was. It in killed it. the momentum, didn't it? Yeah. Like it totally killed the momentum. It's like, don't you have somewhere to be? He's like, oh yeah, 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 <laughs> I, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Dahlia, uh, <laughs> Dahlia, <laughs> Dahlia, Doritos, Dahlia. Dahlia. <laughs> What was that from? That was that song that he did that he said Dali. He does it all the time. Like he does it like every song. Oh no, I know where I got it. I got it from he did that Enrique Iglesias song when it was like uh where it was like the pop song that Enrique Iglesias and he was in the video and he goes Dali. Like he does a rap part of it. <laughs> what but the fuck? He does it in every song though. Like it's like his thing. He's like Dali. Yeah. Uh Pitbull, yeah, he was in an Aquaman movie. Uh, he's the extreme that just reminds me of uh, 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 Harold and Kumar when they run to the dudes in the gas station. It's like Mountain Dew, extreme. Dude, I just now thought of this, baby, because it's paramount, like, and and like it's the uh, it's the mountaintop. What if they hired Scott Stapp to stand on top of the Coors Light Mountain and start singing, Can you take me higher? <laughs> That's a and win. That, and that's it. Like, then everybody's going to be like, dude, did you see that Coors Light commercial? I'm drinking Coors Light tonight. Yeah. I'm going to feel like Scott Stapp because when you drink it, you can't get higher than Coors Light. You're going to feel like you're standing on the icy caps of the mountain. Still fucking Jay's going to a Creed concert. I am. I'm Mike fucking Blink. envious of you, yeah. actually. Well you, well, you were going to go, but you said it was the day after your Blinks of the show. Yeah, it's right the day after Blink. So uh, I don't know. Who knows, man? Maybe, maybe if there's still lawn tickets available, I will hitch a ride and I'll go up there and just fucking. I'll I'll drink like twelve bush lights and just hang out in the lawn with people. No, if you're gonna if you're gonna go see a, a like a like a Scott Stapp Creed, you gotta drink natural exactly. light. Yeah, you know, that's true. Or PBR would work. PBR, too, like, yeah, it's the only way. It's the only thing you know. It's just it, it's too. It goes hand in hand. Okay. Natural light and 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 sitting back and and listening and chilling out to some Creed music. Those are two things that go hand in hand. That's what I remember anyway. I don't know. Bud Light maybe. No, I don't think so. It's too fancy. Too fancy. But yeah, dude, he looks good though, huh? Scott Stapp, he looks pretty good. I, like the haircut's fine. I'm not saying it's ugly or anything, but like I just feel like he's more iconic with his long hair. It just feels better. That's my opinion, anyway. By the way, you know what, guys? I should. I, you know what I should do is when I when I'm like looking around, I should actually go to the chat. Hold on. D Mitch says, "Jay, I got tickets for Creed in September here in Dallas." Oh, look for you. You also have touched the sun. I don't know, dude. I feel like I might just like listen to Creed after this. Just like sit in my living room and be like, to a place that I'm unseen. Yeah. Just feels like the way I want to spend my night. Yeah, uh, that'll do it. Oliver says, safe to say Marvel has another $2 billion movie. I think, yeah, so, I think I it's going to, I think it's easily going to break the million easy. Yeah. I, I, I just, I see no world where everyone's not super excited for R rated comedy and Ryan Reynolds and so the, Deadpool and Wolverine. It's got it all. It's going to fucking do. I think it's going to, I, I'm going to fuck do. I'm just going to say it. I think it's going to beat Avatar. I think it's going to beat all. I think it's going to be the number one movie. I, I think it's going to break all the records, Jay. I don't think. I do. Uh, you know, it's, just, it's, it's funny. Uh, Disney, $2 billion movie. Snow White comes out, lose $2 billion. It works out. It's even. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's pretty. I mean, anybody with a brain can pretty much figure this shit out, but they're dumb. Uh, Child of the Corn, good to see you, buddy. He says 80s Arnold or 90s JCVD. Also, fuck the Chiefs. And that we agree on. Uh, I would, uh, man, that's a great question. You got to go with Arnold, but then again, JCVD is amazing, dude. I love everything JCVD does. Well, not everything, but most of everything he did in the nineties was, was gold. So no. All right. You know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to pull up the filmographies real quick because like that, what makes it so such a hard question is the era. 
80s Arnold's, not 90s Arnold, right? And like 90s JCVD. Well, 90s JCVD is like really where, where he was coming into his own. Like yeah. the only one that came out in the 80s was uh, or late uh, Bloodsport came out in 88 or 89. So the question he's really asking, I'll, I'll name him off real quick. Here's here's the 90s Sean Claude, right? Uh, 90s Sean Claude included Lionheart, De- Death Warrant, uh, D- Double Impact, uh, Universal Soldier, Hey, Nowhere to Run. I like it. Hard Target. Get over here. Time Cop. Uh-oh. Street Fighter. Oh, God uh, damn. Sudden Death. Yes, uh, I do enjoy okay, it. The Quest, it. Maximum no, Risk. No, Double no, team knockoff legionnaire. Okay, it's Universal bad. Soldier the Return. Oh, uh, you get the idea. Now, as far as 80s Schwarzenegger goes, you got um no, that's not what I went. God, I hate the new fucking IMDB. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'll come over there. I swear to God. Uh 80s Schwarzenegger includes Conan. Okay, okay, James Earl Jones to go. Conan the Destroyer. Oh, uh, okay, okay. The Red Terminator. Sonya. Okay. Red Sonia. Yes. Commando. Oh. Raw Deal. Yeah. Predator. Uh, the Running Man. You're there. Red Heat. What do you say? Twins. Okay, well, Arnold won. I got to pick Arnold because, listen, I'm not, like, just based on filmography alone, like, if you had to lose one or the other forever... I'm not losing all that that sexy Arnold action. There's just no way. Like I'm not like Terminator is like a like literally an epic groundbreaking movie. Like it's a once in a lifetime type of movie. I will go. I, I'm going to agree with you, but don't. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to say though the caveat to this. Bloodsport came out in '88. That's if what Bloodsport I'm saying. came out in the '90s. It. It's it's. I think it's I, yeah, Bloodsport, if Bloodsport, if Bloodsport, that's what I've said. If I would have I would have gone with Bloodsport because I, I I think I talked to uh, I don't remember who was saying it. They had just got done watching Bloodsport and it was one of their best their favorite movies they've ever watched. And I was like, dude, it's probably number one martial arts movie of all time. It might be. I would put it there personally. That's a great question, dude. Fuck, mm-hmm. that's hard. Like, if you had to sit down and think about it, I may come up with a different answer, but I'm going to agree with you. DJ Graham, Mary, fuck, kill. Ryan Reynolds, Jean-Claude Van Damme, or Jennifer Tiller, Tilly, and Jennifer Tilly. Well, the girl's Van out. Van you know that, right? Fuck that. Killer. I only want the big dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Everybody knows that. Uh, Everybody. Well, okay, I got it. I, it's easy. Um, I'm going to, I'll fuck Jennifer Tilly. I'll marry Jean Claude, and I'm gonna kill <laughs> Ryan Reynolds because he's too handsome, and you just can't be in a relationship with that. It's just, it's just too, it's just too much. It would be like literally holding hands with like a son, and you can't like the the actual son, Jean Claude Van Damme. He's 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 got he's got a good filmography behind him. He's rich. He knows how to treat a lady, and I enjoy that. And he's also foreign, which is kind of hot. And and he's also he's worshipped as a god in in the Brussels, the muscles of Brussels. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm definitely going to marry Jennifer Tilly because here's the kicker. Um, you get to have sex with her as much as you want to because sure. you're married and everybody knows that about marriage. Uh, I am going to, yeah, I'm going to marry Jennifer Tilly. You guys know how I feel about that. Um, we're going to throw on some black. I don't know what it is to do about Jennifer Tilly though, but happen. it just looks like when you got her undressed, like she's hot as fuck and it would be a great fuck. But at the same time, I don't know what it is, dude. Like, I feel like she would smell like ketchup. I'd be all right with that. I, I don't know what it is. I don't like this ketchup. Like, why does that smell like ketchup for? Like I like ketchup on things, but I don't like smell like ketchup. <laughs> you should go to like a convention to meet her and be like, hey, uh, I don't know why, but you look like you smell like ketchup. Can I smell your, your titty real quick? I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I want to bounce those Can things we, like we go in the bathroom really quick. You take a bite uh, and smell. <laughs> I'm definitely marrying Jen for Tillery. Uh, I'm going to fuck Ryan Reynolds because I'm going to be honest with you. Like I'm not into dudes whatsoever, but if I had to fuck a guy, he would actually be my choice. Like I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to, cause he made me laugh, you know, even if I'm uncomfortable and like, this is, this is, this is very stressful for me because I'm not sure what it's like to have another man inside of me. I would, uh, I would laugh and I would have a good time and I, I feel like I would enjoy it, but it might make me, I, I, you know, I don't know, but I'm going to kill Sean Claude for sure in that You're scenario crazy. it doesn't matter about their movies at that point but i would get his autograph and take a picture with him first but then he has to die mm-hmm. um because then he'd be like what if you made him like you didn't get you made him a salad for dinner well and I, you know he's like i just want to eat and you you're like marry, that's all i have if you marry him he's an old guy you don't have to fuck him at all oh he's dude Jean claude van damme still fucks are he you fucks around he don't fuck his wife i guarantee you that <laughs> he still fucks <laughs> ah, he fucks you know, he doesn't he gets he, he does line he does line after line of coke off strippers he is sober you whore all right to this day 
<laughs> I saw last night. He was doing blow off a Nordic track. She no, just kept I, going. I, he just no, kept I'm storming. Kidding. Van Dam is he really has reformed, I guess. I don't know him really. I don't know. Maybe, like he's he not. I mean, maybe he hasn't. I don't reckon know, but I'm just saying Van Dam back in the day, dude. That guy was not loyal to nobody. Like yeah, Van Dam, holy shit. Safe to say Van Dam probably wouldn't be around today, uh, right now if he was still on the Coca Uh because right. shit right. got pretty Where's wild. <laughs> Gene Simmons. Machine. Bowers says, Much love, my brothers. P.S. I changed my icon. I got myself a haircut. Hey, look at that. Hey, Dude, you, you look, look good, man. You look the same, but handsomer. All right. I noticed, by the way, I was going to say, Have you got a haircut today? It looks good. I like the part. I like what you got going on there. I'd do you if I was into uh, doing. Uh, by the way, I, I, before I say anything, Gene Simmons, I know he wasn't on drugs. He never touched a drug in his life, supposedly. So Why not Gene Simmons. Uh, and fucking Keith Richards looks like a corpse, and he's been on every drug known to man, and he's still kicking. Yeah, whenever I have anxiety about shit, I think about Keith Richards and people like that. I'm like, they're still fine. Look at I'm Ozzy fine. Osbourne, dude. I mean, I know he's got yeah. no problems now, but holy shit. Yeah, they're good. I'm good. Like, I- I'm going to be all right. Like, it's going to be fine. Thank you, Deep Driftless Adventures, which sounds like the name of Jay's ex-wife's vagina. Uh, we really appreciate it. Well, it wasn't. It, there was a bottom to it. It just smelled like mayonnaise. <laughs> Oh God, that's a disgusting thought. Like, Especially you know, since I have a yeah, face to put yeah, to the you vagina. Were, yeah, yeah, you weren't the fucking poor adventurer that had to go on those deep sea excursions. I was. My face was buried in that fucking goddamn volcanic pussy. <laughs> Shoo. Dude, I wanted to you fucking, motor forward, sometimes, son of a bitch. I wanted to fucking spit a tic tac in that hoe and just soar up. Oh God, damn it. Uh, guys, that's the Super Bowl. That's the Super Bowl. That's uh, Yay! we did the Super Bowl. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody's gonna get mad about it and say, Little John did more than that, bitch. <laughs> I don't know a single other Little John song, but a good for him. He got his money. Uh, Colton Candler says, Three cameos you'd like to see in Deadpool 3. Um, I think, Ooh. well, you know, anybody from I think it would be cool to see any of the other X Men. Um, Classic. Maybe, not Anna, maybe not Anna Paquin. I don't want to see her necessarily. I, maybe no, James Morrison or uh, Famig Jensen. Yeah, or Damn somebody kid. like that. Charles. I think they ruined it with uh, fucking Doctor Strange because they they blew their load with Charles Xavier. That would have been badass hmm. to see him. I did forget one commercial. Uh, we'll watch that. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm gonna go with Colossus, I, and I know he's been in there before, but they had just such a good rapport. He's like, Dad, is that you? oh, your poor wife. <laughs> I would love to see Colossus come back. I would like to see them because I feel like the, the the team behind this could actually pull that off. I would love to see them actually show a good gambit. And mm. uh, I'll, I'll finally just to throw um, uh, a different one in there. I would like to see Jean Grey, but. As you mentioned, X Men animated series Jean Grey with yeah. the flowing fucking hair and the suit and the big ass like that's what I'd big, love to see. Guys, uh, well, I thought oh, okay, man. well then if I big three, so it would be uh, it would be Cyclops, it'd be Mister Sinister because you've never seen him ever. That's true, true. Yeah. And then uh, you know, just for I mean, he hasn't been in a cameo yet. I would I, honestly, I would like to see Magneto, uh, not fucking the original Magneto, the Michael Fassbender's Magneto. I would like to see that too. Yeah, I, he dude, he was great. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, dude, he's just so perfect. Like he's when great. you look at Magneto from the comic books, it's fucking Michael Fassbender. Yeah, dude, Magneto. he's great. Yeah, and it's he crazy. was still Mike. He was still fucking Magneto when he played Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly, uh, he was exactly like Magneto. Yeah, Michael says the new Apes trailer looks fine, dude. I, I have the same thing. I did a trailer reaction for that when the first one came out, and I got railroaded by people. I just think because well, you don't I, know anything about the series. No, I love the series. Oh. Like I, I went back and watched I wouldn't know shit about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I know the Mark Wahlberg one. That's literally it. <laughs> no, I love the series, dude. I, I, I went, I did the, the first man versus movie ever, like doing that, and I fucking fell in love with it. But this new trailer, dude, it just it, it's all so CG and it's so fake and Pixar looking. Like I was not into that at all, and people really hated me for it. But that's okay. Uh, people hate me a lot. I'm used to it. Um. Anyways, so let's watch the Ben Affleck Dunkin' Donuts commercial. Like, I thought it was going to be funnier, but I still laughed. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Fucking oh, Wednesday's oh, Valentine's Day. It is. You better get on that shit. No, you already, already you already did. I already got her something. Um, smart man. No, I because I, I, I was, I was like, I, uh, she posted that shit, didn't she? I'm not on Book of Faces anymore. Did she post that? 
Oh, no, I think you told me about it. Okay, or maybe gonna, she did. I didn't. I was see gonna it. say, don't ruin my fucking street cred. I told him I, I'm gonna get you nothing. <laughs> I feel like we do this every year. Like I ain't getting her nothing. I'm like Jay, you better because it's gonna come back to haunt you, and then you begrudgingly do. No, I like, felt, I felt like bad. Man. Like I felt like you know old man Scrooge up there with his like cup of potato soup after the stream was over, and then I could hear <laughs> somewhere in the distance the divorce papers rattling. <laughs> so I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. You're just an undercooked potato. I don't think you should do this. Last year she came to my work. Now I gotta show her what I can do. He's here. Ah, uh, flat on the track. What up, Bronx? For your consideration, here comes the Boston Massacre. <laughs> the dumb kids. Is this how you want her back for real? Oh, yeah, I forgot him and Tom Brady are boys. Sometimes it's really hard to be your friend. <laughs> oh, shit. How do you like them donuts? I'm so sorry. You had to speak, but I forgive you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. Are we going to be on the album? We talked about this. Let's go. You're blinded by them pinstripes. Wrap it up. There goes Babe Ruth. Tom? <laughs> he hit his head on the side. I remember when I told you I'd do anything for you? This is anything. Chill. The name I like it. Out. No, it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it was all right. We talked about this. Yeah. Watch him hit his head, though. I know. Let's go. You're blinded by them pinstripes. Wrap it up. There goes Babe Ruth. Tom? <laughs> Basket. <laughs> <laughs> so you bought it by the so, so I guess you're still not you're not Jenny from the block anymore because otherwise you would have seen a hit when it was looking at you in the face. No, yeah, I like dude, I, like I'm glad he's got his life together, but it's so weird that he's like still buddies with Tom Brady because that's essentially what fucked him over with Jennifer Gardner because that whole thing with his the the maid went on an airplane. Was it Tom Brady that was fucking his uh, his babysitter, or was it Ben Affleck that was fucking the babysitter? No, I think Ben Affleck was allegedly having sex with a maid, and like, he was on Tom Brady's airplane at some point. No, yeah, maybe? I thought that's how, and that's how, like they, they were like, yeah. I, don't I know, could just, be wrong about that though. Tom Brady may have had nothing to do with it. I don't know, but no, yeah, no, no, it wasn't Brady. It was Affleck because I think that's what led to Garner like divorcing him or some shit like that. I don't remember. Yeah, but yeah, it was very. I think Ben Affleck's underratedly funny. I think he can be funny. I think it's cool that he's like he's he's it's cool to make fun of himself like that and do that kind of shit like that. And like Matt Damon's always fucking. He we all I know like he Matt Damon's getting, he's getting tired of that shit. Though. He's like, bitch, I, I've I've been in like the Mars movie. I grew potatoes <laughs> out of shit on Mars. I deserve more of that. I'm better actor than this. Mars is an underrated movie. That's a good fucking. That's movie, a great dude. fucking movie. I I think I would call that trailer, like. I, I, say, I give it. I give it pretty rad status. I I'll say pretty rad because I love like Damon and Affleck so fucking much. But I think as a actual commercial, it's probably more fuckable in my mind. But like, we'll go I with mean, your heart and parts. Shit? What's the difference? What's care. the difference? Who cares? You know what? We're I'm gonna do man. This. after we're done here. I'm gonna go watch the new Willy Wonka movie on Amazon Prime. Oh, you want to watch that shit? No, I'm kidding. I might though. If it, is it, <laughs> is it it's like, is I don't it, know. I might be gay. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's what is what tucked in, tucked out. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. No, I like that. that. I like that guy. The guy played Willy Wonka is in Dune. I think he's a good actor. You, you remember that the video I showed you from uh, Ted the other day when he was like, he's like, you think he, he's like, you think he's some kind of, part of some kind of like gay beat up club or something? He's like, eh, I don't know, I might be gay. Hey, I'm gonna go lay down in the john. Here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Like. By the way, I do. I, the funniest thing is I watched uh, uh what uh, uh, Kegel? What's the guy that in Saltburn? Is it something Kegel? Is that his name? The oh, no, actor? it's uh, it's um, the, he was also Joker. Um, Barry Cohagen. Barry Cohagen, yeah. Kegel sounds better. But Barry Cohagen <laughs> was on that. Uh, Barry, alert. Barry Cohagen was on that Hot Ones, which is a pretty good show, and he was asking all those questions. I, I just go down in the comments to see what people think. If they call him a pussy or whatever, I want to see fights in the comments. And they're sure enough, it was. They're like, Barry Cohagen is is the modern day, uh, the, whatever they call him, the modern day um, Marlon Brando. The Marlon Day, Marlon Brando. He's so right, underrated. Calm down. And he's like, he's the only theater kid that you've ever seen that doesn't look gay. I'm like, I don't know how that matters, but okay. And he's gay going, as shit. No, he's not. But I mean, it don't matter. I mean, he he looks gay as shit. He looks gay. Yeah, There's but, nothing wrong with looking gay. I'm just because you Barry can, looks gay as fuck. Just because he can dress and he likes to show off his neckline doesn't mean he's gay. I, I think uh, it's awesome he looks gay, but no. he looks fucking anyway, gay. No, I know. But it was funny because Barry Cohagen, they were talking about Saltburn and they're like, what a piece of fucking shit, trash ass goddamn movie. You think he's the modern day Marlon Brando? And the guy was like, excuse me, fella. When did you go to film school like this? And they were fighting back and forth. He's like, please. He's like, Saltburn is the most pretentious, egotistical piece of shit film I've ever seen in my life. This is the generation that's going to grow up and think this is classic. And they were going back and forth. And then someone was like, I farted. 
<laughs> I love this guy. I love it. Those are my best. people. It's the best. I just I think that's 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 how you stop everybody from fighting. And then I saw this other one. And he's like he said he said he said I'm first. I'm gay. <laughs> you know people are like I'm first on the comedy because I'm gay. I'm gay. I love it. Oh. Dude. Anyway, Welcome I just thought, but yeah, I think Barry Cohen is a good actor. But I just Saltburn. Maybe it's getting a little bit more hyped up than it should be. I haven't seen it yet, but it does seem like people are are treating it like it's like. Like the second coming of Gone with the Wind or something. I've had seven different people ask me if I've seen Saltburn. And I'm I like, dude, I've heard, I've heard, it's not that I like don't want to watch it. It's just that like I've heard, I know the whole movie. So I'm like, I know I'm going to be bored watching it because I know every fucking ounce of that movie. I don't need yeah. to see it. Like, you know, I know it's like the, it's like the male version of, well, from what I, it, look, it sounded like Cruel Intentions and Single White Female all rolled into yeah. one. Which I like time. about, I mean, I'm not, I'm not against that. I'll, I mean, maybe I'll watch it when it's free. I just don't want to spend like, fucking 22 dollars and rent it maybe we should do a commentary sometime just watch it together for oh the first well, time. yeah well if we do that we got to get the cognac out and do it together <laughs> we might get horny and just start fucking like mid commentary so the camera just goes like this yeah <laughs> oh you just yeah. hear some you just hear fucking oh, oh. baby come back oh. <laughs> baby back uh i don't know and we're gonna get the fuck out of here we love you guys so fucking much this has been fun as shit as it always is you guys are the fucking best thanks for hanging out with us Thank tonight guys. and um i just want you to close your eyes and uh just picture jay and i sweaty just breathing hard god damn leave them wanting more just don't throw it all the way playing a game of basketball one-on-one -on -one. no referee just men just men the whole the whole atmosphere in the air just smells like testosterone and blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I hot, want, dude. That's so I can hot. smell it. If you could bottle that up, we would sell. J Lo would sell that shit herself. Fuck uh, yeah, dude. Dracar balls. <laughs> Dracar balls. You guys love it. Uh, love you guys. We'll see you guys soon. See you guys. Do, 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 do. Mm, mm, mm.